What's up, everybody? Welcome. 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 We are back. It's your boy, Schultz. I'm here with uh, Akash Singh, of course, Alex Media, Mark Gagnon. Um, but we also got a special guest today. There are a few podcasts in New York that are that are coming up uh, that are doing uh, some very good work. And um, I think you guys of the up and coming ones, uh, you're my favorite. Ah, he thank loves you. you guys. Thank I you. love it. I think the first time we even did it, I was like, "Nah, you guys got something here." Yeah. I still want to see the ten minute version. Sure. I still <laughs> like. <laughs> he keeps pounding me on it. The first day, and we're gonna get to which the pod is, but I'm so glad you have you guys here. And it is. Uh, I thought it was just such a brilliant idea, and we'll talk about why it is. But the podcast is called "Are You Garbage." Mm-hmm. And I'm here with H. Foley, which is Hank Foley, but it's H. Foley. That's right. Okay. Do you go Hank or Henry? Either way. But it's H. Chelsea, I love you. You can call me anything. <laughs> Listen, me. I'm about I, to start crying right now. I just found, I just, <laughs> I really just found out recently that your name wasn't Foley as the first to me name. You twice outside. I was yeah. like, I've known you 10 years. Yeah, but now we got to properly. You literally hit me with the, is it Henry? We in gotta, front of Alex, I was like, come on. Oh, we want to get it right, Dude. bro. We want to get it right. We were sitting at the table, like, what's up with that? Yeah. all this Henry bullshit. It was right as Gagnon. <laughs> it was right as Gagnon rolled in like a 90s movie. You're like, is your name Henry? I was like, eh. <laughs> Drinking the gallon water. The thing's not even hooked up. I was like, ah. Dude, he doesn't but know dude. what's going on. This is all way too cool uh, for him. <laughs> So, um, thank you, man. Of course, and then of course we got Kev, man, Kevin Ryan. Thank yeah. you guys so much for coming in. You guys have this amazing podcast called Are You Garbage? Now, Woo. I did it early on. I think early, yeah, early on. And I remember doing it, and it was so much fun. Now, basically, what you do on a podcast, and maybe mm-hmm. it's obviously changed. I'm sure you guys are just having regular conversation, talking about topical stuff. But part of it mm-hmm. is you f- you see if your guest is garbage or grew up garbage. Sure, one hundred percent. And it is so much fun <laughs> because. Especially successful people want to be garbage. For sure. Like the more successful your guests, the more they're gonna want to prove to you how horrible their life was growing uh-huh. up. Yeah. Uh-huh. And it's just this amazing device, you know. And and the only thing I can liken to is like probably one of the most popular shows on the internet, which is the uh, flaming hot ones. The, the hot, hot ones. ones. Yeah, the first yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it, it's better than hot ones. Thank you. Thank because you. being able to eat a chip. <laughs> has nothing to do with how your parents loved you or not. Sure, sure. Do you know sure. what I mean? It's like you can eat hot shit or you can't. It mm-hmm. doesn't matter. But like if your parents just didn't put anything into your life growing up, mm-hmm. oh, that's fun. What if you yeah. could only <laughs> afford the hot sauce and no chicken wings? <laughs> <laughs> how about that? How about if the only seasoning they had was hot sauce? You're garbage. Now, yeah. can you just take us through a little bit of like what an average question would be? Yeah, so we both come from garbage. Let's say that. We're both you, didn't, garbage. you didn't need to tell anybody. So go, Anyone yeah. watching okay. the video knows. It's not okay. defined by money. It's not defined by how much money you had growing up. No, like, it's because he grew up. You grew up like middle class, like lower middle middle class. I grew yeah. up like upper say middle lower, class, lower, yeah, lower, yeah. lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but like my parents, <laughs> <laughs> we had one car. What of it? <laughs> I, mean, I was on trial here. <laughs> <laughs> no way you threw that at me. Go, 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 go. This, is, this saying, is my favorite part because it transcends class. It does. It transcends. This is why it's so of great. Course. My oh, family, good. my my parents made some money, yeah. but they both grew up poor. Right. So now so they're they just in them. They're poor oh, yeah. with Can't money. Like there's been an unfinished shed in my backyard for 10 years. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. we have like a lot of money yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. just never been finished. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. So it's you like, can't shed your you, garbage. You can't. But I'm a little less garbage because right. I grew up around nicer people, you know, and people with money and stuff yeah. like that. Like, I grew up with like kids of doctors and lawyers I went to school with. So you had to pretend like you were like them, but you had this fucking shed. Yeah. Right? It's yeah, like, yeah, 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 exactly. And like, we had, dude, we had the basketball net, like, with no net in it anymore all yeah, through yeah. high school and Nobody shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 hey, yeah. Kev, let's go to your house. It was under construction. Yeah, but you had stairs at your house, which is like a thing. Did what? You had yes. stairs. You had two stories. Yeah, bro. If you, you had would... two stories in the suburbs, in my mind, you were rich. That's of it. Course. Done. Of course. No question. Of course. Yeah. And there's a flip side to that. I had too. a washer dryer. That was a big deal. In yeah. New York. Oh, New York. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You were talking about living with Kevin. He lived in my. He puts it. We lived together. This is he hilarious. was hemmed up in a bad situation and okay. moved into my basement. So is what moved, happened. Yeah, yeah. But so he said, like, "Yeah, when we were living together." And then you just go, "You lived in my basement." Yeah, what are you talking not, about? He wasn't on the lease. We didn't go like shopping for a place. I know. Paid the utilities. What the fuck? Because <laughs> you were using them. <laughs> I you paid the, the water. Yeah. I put my deposit like a gentleman. Huh. You had, and this clip is so good, man. So you said that you would, um, you were in the basement with the washer dryer yeah he was. and he goes yeah you know sometimes i couldn't go to sleep at night i just run the dryer right and then kevin you say yeah so now you just put a sneaker in there <laughs> sounds like your parents are fighting <laughs> off the dream <dreamland>. yeah <laughs> it's a white white trash <laughs> noise machine <laughs> yeah so that would be garbage right there okay so what, what we is do is we go through a series of questions to right. determine whether you're garbage and we're gonna not. do this with us sure. yeah, 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 yeah. okay but before we do that I want to know what is the difference between garbage mm -hmm. and ghetto and garbage and white trash. Yeah. So like break this break this down because it seems to me that garbage does not have a class. It doesn't. It's attached it's, to it. We it's, don't. It's, it's we, a lot of choice, right? Like it's a okay. lot of times it's the lazier choice. It's the you know, it's the shittier choice. If yeah. You grew up poor, you you're you're by no means garbage, yes, right? Like yeah. if you choose to be like I'm going to have a presentable house and all they're just whatever, yeah, like yeah. all of these things. If you're going to do the best you can with what you have. Exactly. But if you lean into not doing the best. The unfinished shed. You're you know what I mean? Exactly. Okay. And yeah, I know yeah, where yeah. You, I know where you're, where you're going with it. So we do it in like a lighthearted, the garbage is almost celebrated. Yes. So the difference between that's like garbage and yeah. trash, yeah. Yeah. that's like we had Ari on. Yeah, and yeah. The first thing Ari said was like, you know, he's like, oh, he's like, well, you know, he's like, these aren't really garbage questions. It's it's you should ask if like, you ever fucked your friend's wife or whatever. I'm yeah, like, well, like, that's, that's just a trash. bad person. Dude. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. We keep we keep it loose. We keep it light. So garbage would be celebrated. Trash wouldn't be celebrated. Yeah. Ghetto wouldn't be celebrated. White okay. trash wouldn't be take, celebrated. Take me through. Take me Not through. Pieces the, are you of shit. Yeah, Can yeah, I take yeah. you my favorite garbage thing? Yeah, because you did. Akash did it as well. I, I forget what your answer was. If you were garbage. Or not. Uh, here's what I know. That Andrew wanted to be garbage. Yeah. I felt so like insecure that my parents raised me as garbage. Yeah. I was like, yo, they came to this country. They built a good life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kevin I remember. Has, I swear to God, I don't get triggered. Yeah. You had an IG post that fucking triggered me, dog. If you said you order a soda with no ice, you're garbage. Yeah. That's a garbage <laughs> move. Like, son, <laughs> That's garbage, dude. I was so fucked. I almost commented something. I was so tight. I almost texted I was you like, privately. I want more soda yeah. for the money. That's, That's garbage. Trash, Be a gentleman. Get some ice. If you want a refill, pay it's for the fucking cold. refill. Oh, pay for the refill. <laughs> Yo, that is crazy. Dude, that's the it shit. Dude. Oh, ice? Come on, dude. I'm bothered Come on. by it. I'm yeah. just like, Yo, that's how I was raised. Nah. Get oh. more soda for but Your the parents money. are garbage, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. It's passed okay, down go, generations. Go. Take us through. Take us through. This is fun. This is so fun. Some, of the, some of the big ones. No, you're asking us. We want to play Okay, now. okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. How do you want to start? You want to start off with like the basics? Yeah, hit them with the basics. Yeah. All right, so some of the basics we're doing that are very divisive on the show okay. is uh, do you guys brush your teeth in the shower? I have. I don't. You don't. I don't do that. Yeah. Do yeah. why? Why? Why do you say I don't no? Because he's fucking clamped. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's getting extra ice with his soda. <laughs> just got ice. Soda just ice. Just over here. You just ice. Of ice. <laughs> I do it sometimes. Three other people in the shower. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? No, That's I, don't, I don't. I don't brush my teeth in the shower. Definitely do not brush my teeth in the shower. Yeah. But how often I do you brush? But your I thought teeth that was. I, no, I brush my teeth morning and night. I don't okay. shower as much, but I brush my teeth morning and night. Uh, but uh, pandemic, but this is yeah, pandemic. That's how cool Schultz is. Like, yeah, don't even shower anymore. Yeah. Like, he's, <laughs> he's, he's past showers. <laughs> but no, I thought Hughes. that was an efficiency thing. No. Yeah. Well, I thought it was like, yo, I got so many things to do. I got to combine. No, you know, because like, this is my argument. When you're brushing your teeth, you can only be doing that. Like, what do you do? You're not in the yeah, shower doing this. How much time this. you fucking say? Exactly. Let the conditioner settle, bro. Nah, also, too, no. Use conditioner? Dude, that's not trash. No, that's, not that's, that's pretty good. That's that's conditioner is pretty good. Once a week, how often are you using it? Uh, every time I shower, yo. That's good. Once a week? That's new money. <laughs> <laughs> that's new money shit right there. <laughs> my man. <laughs> that's new money. <laughs> New money. That's a guy you're trying used to too hard, bro. Yeah. You're trying, you're trying, trying to, to be the commercial yeah. is what you're doing. Yo, you're such new Fuck money, you, dude. Yo. That's a guy who's used to the two-in-one at the yeah. discount rack. Yeah. <laughs> the generic you're, brand, you're, too. You condition once a month, maybe. And here's the thing. <laughs> Garbage people. <laughs> That's garbage. No. That's garbage. Whoa, did you see when, not head and shoulders, what was the brand? Part Plus? No, one of them made three in one. Yeah, yeah. I think it was oh, right, third. Bro, right, it right guard. Right guard. The body wash, it was just fucking. Uh, like, buddy, just I have it. What are you talking about? <laughs> fucking have I seen it? I used three it this morning. One. 
Holy shit. <laughs> I'm shaving no. with it. I'm doing everything. That's Put lube you in there. You can jerk <laughs> off too. Get the whole nine yards done. Jesus. Talk Christ. about saving time. Shout out the right guy. That's a go getter right there. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, keep going. This and here's the thing. Yeah. You can make that argument. Now, yeah, I yeah, brush yeah. my teeth in the shower all the time. Yeah. I'm garbage. We've established on the podcast that is garbage. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Garbage people aren't brushing their teeth in the shower to save time. These aren't go getters. Yeah. These are animals. Yeah. They brush their <laughs> teeth. We brush our teeth in the shower because there's a freedom to it. There's a there's a who cares. It's all in your everything's minty. Matter. Yeah, it drips down. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Also, so the, you can't make that argument. Well, what if he's got an important test yeah. that day? No, he's not headed to the board <laughs> meeting. That guy. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah, that guy's not a get. He doesn't have to get to the shareholders no. meeting. He's watching the Mandalorian for the third time on the couch, <laughs> eating Chinese food in ten minutes. <laughs> It ain't a time thing. Uh, and also the most offensive thing to do, whatever, I've kind of, I've allowed, I've allowed letting, brushing your teeth in the shower time, whatever, I'll, I'll semi buy that. But if you leave your toothbrush in the shower, you cannot come back from that. That is 100% the nastiest thing you could do. Really? People are leaving, you leave your- like a cup? Like no, a just like on the fuck, like next to the shampoo, next to the right guard. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Do that. no next to the crowd. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, people do it. A lot, of, most- it's like 50% of people. Really? Yeah, yeah. I a got lot mine leaning on the soap, just chilling. Yeah, it's fucking gross. Russell's down? <laughs> he don't care, dude. Look at him. Come yeah. on. <laughs> you think he's worried about his teeth? He's got bigger problems. <laughs> just throw it in the bottom when I get out. It's like the fucking vegetable. <laughs> what are they called? Bristles. Bristles. Oh, yeah, Brussels. That's garbage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't want to be garbage? I did I'm it. So deeply offended? Uh, trying to sound, like, yo, trying to so sound smart. Because I was like, son, it's an electric toothbrush. It's a very nice old B7000. <laughs> What you talking about? I take hygiene incredibly. <laughs> Yo, he still heard about the conditioner yeah, comment. No he shit. still butt heard about that. Did you say Brussels? He's all mad. Checking your grammar and shit. He's trying to be all bougie about it. Like the European city? <laughs> I didn't know where. Which I travel to I travel. in my gap year. <laughs> I studied abroad. Gap year's rich kid shit. I believe you're referring to okay, Brussels give us more, sprouts. More questions. More questions. Okay. Uh, what all do right. you got, big man? Um, have either one of you, okay, growing up or now, yeah, ever had turkey on any other day but Thanksgiving? Like a whole turkey. A whole turkey. You ever, my you parents were... ever cook a turkey in like the middle of July? <laughs> I got news for you. <laughs> it's trash. <laughs> like a whole turkey. A like whole, a, no. it's got to be a whole turkey. Yeah. No, 100%. That's not. good. What's wrong? Akash? What's wrong? No, I just want to tighten it. It keeps turning. Yeah, it keeps turning, but it's the only way to Akash is incompetent. He's all, he's, he's all <laughs> no, no, fucked no, no, up no. today. It's unbelievable, dude. Incompetent. Like I tell him all the time. I know. He, no, no, he cannot like, do a single task <laughs> ask so, him to do. It's unbelievable his inability to do it. I know. That's what I'm saying. So if I turn it back, the right? whole thing turns. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then tighten. No, 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 no. I know. I know. Oh, Let him dig in. Okay. Let him dig oh, in while everybody knows. There you go. You got it? Have you ever tightened anything? No, never mind. He's got conditioner on his finger. Yeah. He can't, he can't, yeah. he can't get a grasp. The way your day started, you were conditioning your head this morning like, today's going to be a great day. <laughs> well, I tell the guys I condition every day. Yeah, got the mic wrapped around, around classy, you. Classy, baby. <laughs> okay, come on. You are classy. We can you do better classy. than the turkey. Yeah, we yeah, do yeah. Than the uh, a big one growing up was, uh, uh, did you drink milk with dinner? And if you did, you still do it. Yo, no, yo, no, go, go. You know what might be trash? <laughs> you know what might be trash? I ate at some white kid's house one time. And the big white guy thing. Had spaghetti Huge white guy. and milk, and I was yes. like, these guys are kings. <laughs> <laughs> he went home like, Mom, you're not going to believe what Tyler's doing the down the street. Classy shit. I was like, you got no idea how these white people are living. I'm Damn. Like, Crazy, Crash. I couldn't no. understand. I was Everything like, no. they said was true. <laughs> and we didn't know how bad carbs for you back then were. Uh, back dude, so the 90s like, was wide open on carbs. healthy and healthy. Yeah. Like, these guys are doing it right. What kind of family am I in? Yeah. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> no, I hated yeah, it. Yeah, it's oh, fucking crazy. gross, dude. Something I didn't. No. There's a mental thing in, like, Irish, Italian, uh, like, poor white people thing where there's, a like, a connection of the flavors between pasta sauce and milk. I don't know what it is. All right, you get Elon Musk in here, maybe talk about it. It's something on a genetic level. Oh, because it's unbelievable. He still, he still drinks milk Always. with dinner. Really? Milk and, you don't like milk in a nice chicken parm? 
No. It, dude, it's so far. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. I'm the asshole? Dude. You drink a whole cup of milk. Uh, it's, it's insane. Really? Milk is no. only for sweets. That's the only thing it pairs well with. Sweet I milk. agree. I cannot drink milk out of a glass. It has to be mixed with something else. It has to be in like coffee or something. I yeah. can't just have straight uh, milk. You have a cookie and milk. I get it. That's yeah, dessert's I, okay. Dessert and milk, I get. Milk and anything else, I don't get. How about meatloaf and milk? Do you ever do this when you were younger? Like meal. after, did you ever like, I was about to ask you, you worked out. <laughs> and then like, <laughs> like play basketball or something like that, and then come home, and then you're thirsty. And drink milk. Have a glass yes, of milk. Yes, I've done oh. that. Yeah. I could do that as a kid. What the fuck happened? It stimulates something inside your brain from, you know, when you were when you were a kid. Oh. Uh, That's what I think it is. biological about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Okay, okay, okay. This, real quick, this, this is, is one of my other my favorite. I didn't even realize people did this thing. Milk? M-E-L-K? How you yeah. pronounce Dude, it's it? it's oh, yeah. pure white trash. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. says milk. If you do the E? <laughs> the L, milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. milk is... is yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. One of their pieces of merch is That's the milk garbage. Yeah, we call, it, we call <laughs> the people that we call them the milk, the milkmen. The milkmen? The, the drink dinner. Yeah. Drink we have shirts. Milkmen shirts. And he's the general of the fucking milkmen army. He says milk, and I was like, "That's a real thing." I didn't. So know he also says pillow. Hello. Pe- like for pillow is pillow. Uh, a pillow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, he grew up of- in like some weird part of Pennsylvania. Huh. Well, here's the thing: I was born in upstate Pennsylvania, which they have leaning towards almost like a midwestern Chicago accent. Okay. All right, and then moving down to Philly at like a formidable age. I was in fourth grade, so out in the suburbs, just out outside in the suburbs. So they had that. That thick, you know, street road accent. Yeah, I got so, it. Yeah, yeah what are you coffee. doing later? You want to go down here to the So that's fucking... mixed in there, and I'm too uneducated and stupid to, like, you know, to... Change it up. Yeah, so it's you all mixed in. Philly is a garbage city through and through? Is Philly garbage? <laughs> yeah, oh, big dude. time garbage. Big time, big time, big time, big time trash. You know. Have you met these people? Texans? Yeah. <laughs> God, and this, is, this, is how, this is how you know I'm insecure because I don't want to be garbage at all. <laughs> Texans, y'all, you all. Makes perfect yeah, sense, yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Philly? How the fuck do you get to use guys? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> fuck. Do you get to it's use? Just use? It's just you. Yeah, it's you. Yo, you going down there later? You. What are you doing? But what about Yins? What's Yins that? Yins is Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Yeah, Yins. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yins. That's, that's like, real trash. Dude, you can't come back from yeah. that. I don't care. Come you get on. it. That's that's like you, that's like slip and fall money. You got to get out. Of there. <laughs> Call the Uber. Date's over. Yeah. Later. Yins. Yins is tough. Thanks. I didn't even know the thing, but use is use trash. use. Yeah, it's like the big ones there are use and John. That's like, they're like oh, the one. Fine, that's a term. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use. How fucking dumb are you? Oh, it's trash. Now even Philly people like when other when. That's not like everybody says that. When you hear someone say that, you're like, oof, like it hurts. Like you, you feel it in your bones. Mike Albanese grew up in Philly. He'll text me Y-O-U-S-E with like, if it's a group text, and yeah. I'm like, I can't fucking believe it. Yeah, use. <laughs> yeah. Use. It's, tra- it's really trash if you're typing it out. <laughs> but I mean, like that's extra letters. <laughs> not even an abbreviation. It doesn't help at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because I got to make sure that you're not wasting any days this holiday season. Okay? I know you're going to be out drinking. I know you're going to be out partying, okay? You're just at home. There's nothing else to do. You might be even quarantined, so you're going to be getting pissy drunk at the crib, and you can't be wasting days, and there's a way to not waste days, and that's with DHM Detox. I can get into all the science, but let's be honest. You know I'm just reading that shit right off the paper. Apparently, the alcohol creates these uh, fucking chemicals in your body or something like that. Well, DHM breaks them down so you don't have a wasted next day, all right? Don't you want all those chemicals broken down? Okay, it's not just water. You pop a couple pills when you're drinking at night, pop a couple couple pills before you go to bed at night, and then you wake up the next morning and you're not wasting that day. So go to nodayswasted.co. This is a no-brainer. Nodayswasted.co, all right? And you know what they have? A guarantee that if you are not satisfied, you get your money back. It's that simple. If you waste a day, you get your money back. If you don't, well, you're welcome. You haven't wasted a day. Nodayswasted.co and use our promo code FLAGRANT30. That's right. And you know what? You're going to get 30% off your order and free shipping in the U.S. You just head over to nodayswasted.co slash flagrant. Use the promo code FLAGRANT30 at checkout. All right? Now, let's get back to the show. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm uh, oh, sorry. Go. Okay, well, I'm just I, now I'm thinking of like the opposite of garbage. What do you, you guys have a term for this? Clean living. Clean living, we clean said. Clean living, okay. So <laughs> now I keep thinking of like friends who are like doing this clean living thing mm-hmm. like growing up and just like, oh my Lord, this is, <laughs> I had this kid, his name was Derek, I probably shouldn't say his last name, but like he was like my best friend growing up and uh, he lived in fucking the apartment, this kid was wealthy, man. he lived in the apartment that I believe Marilyn Monroe was dating, was it DiMaggio? 
I think so, yeah, right? He fucked him up. Some Yankee, yeah. right? He, he, he was dating no, no, DiMaggio. He got sure. around. Yeah. Fuck a lot of people, but <laughs> it was like their apartment where they were living in, and, and this is like clean fucking wealth. Like, I never seen like wealth like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, there was a room for the maid to live in. Maid's quarters. Yeah. The maid's quarters. Yeah. And this is a common thing, I guess. For yeah, like yeah, Britain, yeah, yeah. Right? There was a maid's quarters. Wealthy folks. Wealthy. Wealthy, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. barely a room, and it was right next to the kitchen. You got to right? keep humble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't let the success go to You don't want her showing off, you know what I mean? Dude, the room was right next to the kitchen. I remember asking him, I was like, why are all your rooms over here and then her room's next to the kitchen? And then he goes, well, that's like kind of where she operates, you know, in the, in the kitchen. Like, so it's close? <laughs> we want to shorten the commute for her, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we don't want her getting jammed up by the bathroom. <laughs> Hitting traffic in the hallway. <laughs> Trying to give some bullshit excuse yeah. why she's rich, late. Yeah, that's like, that's Yo insane man ain't shit. It. That's, like they divided up the home. Yeah, yeah, they don't want to be near them. Isn't they might crazy? steal or something, you know? <laughs> Even though they're in the house. Yeah, of course, <laughs> yeah, that's their mentality. He's like, well, if they're on that side of the house, <laughs> I was, they can steal the pots and pans, I don't care. What kind of kid was As this guy? As she steps into the living room, it's like, ah, uh, ah, yeah. ah, ah, <laughs> Our old friend, Alex Anderson, had a best friend who was like wealthy, wealthy, grew up wealthy. And he told me with like real wealthy people, they love making other people feel excluded. So, like, there's oh, all that's these all, that's rules. That's all it is. This is some rules they have. Like, if you if everybody's making a toast and you have water, you don't toast unless you're on a boat. Then you toast. And he's like, it means nothing. They just want someone to not know the rule so they, they can, can think know. They're, they're yeah, make them look they're like dicks on the me. boat. Dude, I'm at that restaurant last night. Never have I felt more garbage uh, than when I go to like these like. Fancy you really feel out of place. <laughs> I'll be honest. They with can you. smell it on Bro. you. Are new money too, dude. <laughs> stuttering what the fuck is this i don't know how like because in my mind i'm like don't let them know don't let yeah, them know he's ordering then, chicken fingers and shit bro i literally they go what's the name under i said my girl's name <laughs> <laughs> wasn't even there yet the guy what's the name i'm not gonna say her name obviously but but it was uh, it's so embarrassing so i'm just there i'm like trying and then i overcompensate the other way like i oh, lean yeah. into like ah, i don't care guy and i got my fucking arms everywhere but my parents, is this garbage? They just never taught me how to use utensils. And I say it as like a joke, not on stage, but like literally I learned which fork to use from Titanic. Do you remember when Jack? Well, yeah, yeah, sure. It's a big, that's a big thing because my girl's <laughs> European. Yes. Americans don't learn that, like okay, really that, learn that. That makes me feel The Europeans, I, I go over there, I'm a fucking animal. They like laugh at me at the yeah, dinner table because I'm like literally just once fucking I, I had a Danish girlfriend once and I was eating salad at her parents' home and I shoveled some salad onto my fork with my Dude, thumb. that's my go-to move, dog. <laughs> because it works. Yes, oh, it's a better yeah. than anything. Better. No one taught me with the knife. Why would you oh, put yeah. fucking knife salad. on a salad? It's a salad. It's salad. It's just like this. It, that's crazy, that's dog. Too, that's too clean. That yeah. living is too clean. That's too clean. Yeah. I don't want that. My parents eat with their hands. You're lucky I eat. <laughs> <laughs> fucking spoon. What's a spoon? <laughs> <laughs> you mean like this? The thumb is the fucking spoon. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> but those people can still be garbage, too, just because you got salmon pants and a duck belt. Don't mean you can't act trash. Hundred yeah. percent. Um, okay, why are we? Why did I bring this up? What were we talking about? Uh, maids' quarters. Oh no! So we're in this restaurant, right? <laughs> yeah. They keep bringing different like silverware, and there's ways apparently you have to like put the silverware to show that you're done. What? Put yeah. it at four o'clock. Exactly. Serve from the left, clear from the right. What the this fuck? Is, this is, this is, dude, okay. He was a waiter. He doesn't know. He, he doesn't eat at these restaurants. I was about to sell him out. I'm glad that you sold him out. <laughs> <laughs> oh he he God, only knows that because he busses tables. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Steals the milk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just walk well, actually, at my country club that I'm a member of, I... Uh... So, apparently, when you're finished, you put the silverware that you use on the plate in a way to let them know you're finished, right? At four o'clock. Yeah. Four o'clock. But is it on the plate or half hanging off the plate, half hanging on, like tilted up? It's on the plate. The end of the fork and the and the knife should touch the end of the plate at right at four o'clock. Yeah. So like that. And if you're still eating, it's on the plate and on the table. Like you you're resting it. Yes. You're no, I'm like, sorry. I, I take that back. It's not four o'clock. It's uh, it would be four twenty because they're both at the where the four o'clock would be. They should be both on the same direction. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for stopping and yeah. clarifying. That. <laughs> <laughs> Michelin man. But but uh, and then they kept bringing different types of stuff. They brought yeah, yeah, like yeah. Uh, a fish knife. Oh, I don't even know what that is. A specific knife just for fish that's Damn. not sharp, so it doesn't. It like kind of just breaks the fish and moves it. And I kept thinking about that exact thing, which is like, oh, all you're doing is making up culture so yep, you can yeah. make people feel inferior. And mm -hmm. it was working. Yeah. I oh, felt like a idiot. Dude, it's idiot. thousands of years of that shit. That, they didn't just come up with that. Yes. That's thousands but, of years of, of... Not having 
minorities. <laughs> yeah. but you have to divide people. Like the reason why America never has this is because oh, we have different colors of people. We'll just make them feel worse, and then we feel better. Mm -hmm. But in England, it's all, all white, white people. people. They all look the exact same. They've got to start going. Oh, well, they talk a little different. Okay, they're poor, mm -hmm. or oh, they don't know how to use silverware. They're this. It's just structures, hierarchies. We're gonna put. Together. Nah, but even yeah. then, when you get to like wealth, wealth. It's still such, those guys are such egomaniacs. It's all a pissing contest. Who am I richer than? Who's sure. the richest in the yeah, room? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who's the classiest? Make up all these little fucking yeah, rules. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, no, even in America, at the wealthiest level, I think that exists. They want to catch those guys. They want to show up their boys. What I'm saying is like it doesn't permeate our entire culture okay, as fair. much. Got you. Just because Got we you. have other ways to like visually go, yeah. how, how can I feel better than you? The quickest mm -hmm. without using like if I want to feel better than you in my and, head, I, all I have to do is in my head is exactly. go. Oh, now I, I, I saw I you gotta, do that. I'm better than you. I gotta invite you to dinner. I gotta give you a spoon. Hopefully you don't know how to use it, mm -hmm. and then I can go. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Like that's too much. You know, what I mean? isn't it easier just to be like, ah, he's yes. brown, 100. <laughs> <laughs> percent that's, that's what I've been doing. So <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this: as a former server, <laughs> as a former server, is that the worst feeling to feel like inferior when when you feel like the server is giving you shit? Bro. Like last night, like he's giving you an attitude. You know what I've realized? Uh, w when I go into like nice clothing stores, mm -hmm. dude, there is an. They feel like they like own the brand. I'm like, like you're eight fucking, bucks an hour. Dude, I went to get fitted for my suit for my wedding, and like I felt so out of place, and I was like. You make nine dollars an hour, jerk off. You're making me feel like an asshole. You make commission off of me. Yeah, yeah, Why are you yeah, making yeah, me feel yeah. bad? And I'm like, you, you like, can't even afford to fucking shop here, dude. Bro, but you know what? That shit makes you want to buy something to like prove to that prove that I got money. They got commission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These fucking assholes. I know. Oh. I don't even know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I'm honest with you. I remember I walked. What in are you a... talking about? Like Macy's not on we sale. Stuff? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Boscov. What are you doing? I walked in a Uniqlo one time and walked right the fuck out. They all turned their backs to me. Went on break. It's a Brutal. Japanese brand. You're yeah. not fitting in yeah, anything. He barely fit in the store. What the fuck? What? They thought he. They thought he was. He had a delivery to drop off or something. <laughs> I know. Also, you think Uniqlo is classy? I don't understand. <laughs> it's fucking Japanese. H and M for Asian. They were hot. It's old name. They were hot for a minute. What do you want from me? I was trying to fit in. Four You're not going to fit bucks. in anything. No. Dude, I wore the jacket too. Remember? I pushed that thing to its the white limit. ones. Yeah, the gray one. Oh, the gray dude. I yeah, like one of those puff. It was like before the super puff jet. It was like the, you know, just like the regular ones. Yeah, yeah. And he got it like from a friend who like stole his friend worked security there and yeah, yeah. stole <laughs> one and fully bought it for like 10 bucks or it's something. It's a $20 jacket. Yeah, you don't yeah. Need to yeah. Feel anything. Like, he's trash, no dude. He's like, at he's dirt bag level trash. Yeah, if you walk out of Uniqlo and it beeps, they just go, really? Yeah, like, really? You're <laughs> doing this? You have nothing else to do today? You got to come steal a $4 t shirt? Eat the socks? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Try to save face. But, <laughs> I grab a headband and go to the counter. Uh, this will be it for today. That is true, man. That is true. That fucking inferiority shit kind of works. Yeah. 100%. I wonder when that stops. So you kind of yeah. respect the people who are garbage and embrace it. Absolutely. Oh, dude, that's what the yeah. whole that's what the whole podcast Talk is. To the that. Earth, it's baby. Just fucking... Humble beginnings. That's what it's all about. Yeah. It is true, man. That is true. Why is that? Are they doing that because they also feel garbage and they're like are they masquerading a bit? Who, like the super rich people that do that stuff? No, like or? the people that work at these really fancy places that mm. like will kind of be condescending. Is that them projecting? It's their, their ego. Insecurity? Yeah, yeah. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. So they recognize that we both feel the same way and they're like, Oh, I'm not gonna let him know that oh, they're playing also, chess. Yeah, 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 not checkers. Probably think think of how terribly the really rich people treat them. Yeah. Like, they if like okay, here's this you're is so far beneath me when they walk into there, that's <clears> what they're thinking. Yeah. So they look at the guy who's a little insecure, like they take that out on him. But then in my mind, I'm going, okay, in order for me to just get borderline respect, I got to treat you like shit yeah. so you feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to treat you bad so you feel comfortable with me because you're like, oh, he's one of them. Yeah. I don't want to treat you bad. I just want to. You're you getting know. to that point, too. You got to start doing that shit. No. Yeah. Or you can just I want to at least try it. it. You got to start being real snooty. You should have uh, you, you know you had that waiter fired last night. <laughs> no, no, the waiter, That's what you should have <laughs> done. They were good, but I knew nothing. They were walking around with these fucking chains on with a little cup at the bottom. Like, it was literally like a pimp cup. <laughs> What's it, that? It was a pimp cup. They all had pimp cup necklaces. It was, uh, they're sommeliers. Ah. For the wine. It's a wine thing. It's I got into a lot of documentaries about sommeliers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, just recently. What, 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 what is it called? There's what? It's like that Tom Hanks thing. Tom Hanks? <laughs> Tom Hanks. I missed that. I'm the captain now. Oh, 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 oh yeah, 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 yeah. 
<laughs> That's garbage. <laughs> Documentaries about Somalia. Yeah. Read a book. Netflix <laughs> culture over dude, here. I'm trash. I mean, I'm not sitting here like I'm a fucking Let's king of England, dude. I box. am garbage. What is this? It's okay to condition every day. <laughs> He's still trying to cut me down at the legs. So apparently I asked the lady, right? I just go, why does everybody have the chain with the with the cup? Mm-hmm. And I cause I thought that made them like the best server. Like a few of them, I thought they were the super server. Hey, right? congratulations, yeah. buddy. Yeah. I was like, yo, you got the fucking chain. Like, it's like yeah, Rockefeller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing Jay-Z's label. Uh, like, this is the yeah. real shit. And, uh, and then she was like, oh, no, it's a test of vin. How do you say vin? Test of vin? How do you say, like, taste of wine in French? Test of vin? Or something like that. Basically, yeah. for years, they would have it. You'd take a little sip, and that's how, like, the Somalia is. No. And I was like, okay. So she, but she didn't make me feel bad or anything like that. That's nice. Yeah, you yeah, get a yeah. bottle? Say what? You no. get a bottle? They tried to hit me with that wine pairing. Yeah. Ah. See? You're garbage. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Nah, dude. I'm not doing that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody get an Amstel light whenever she wants. <laughs> <laughs> Other guy, I need more bread over here. <laughs> hey, is that garbage asking for more bread? Yeah. Uh, what? I'm yeah. asking for more bread. Yeah. Hey, honey, hey. how about a couple more Parker houses hey, over is, here? I said this. Oh, my God. I, said, I was so starving. I didn't eat the whole day. We came in here to do the pocket. I didn't eat the whole day. I went there, and I sit down, and they come over, and the person goes, she hits me with you know, the classic line. And it, first of all, the busboy comes in and asks about the water. Is if you say no to bottle to like not even the waiter. Always say yes to the bottle. You get the bottle? No, I said tap. What? But they, they big tap guy too. Oh, yeah, big tap guy. Bully. Big tap guy. I'm not gonna I be bullied. Bully this me. is New York. I paid for this water. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You gotta do the bottle. Oh, I love it. So I go, I go, I'll take tap, but I'm shaking. I'm so hungry. I'm literally shaking, right? And then I go, and this is a fancy fucking restaurant. I got a calamari here go, quick. She, they're like, can we start you out with an appetite or something like that? I go, got a this, sampler? Is, this comes out of my mouth. I go, man, I'm just so hungry. Can I get some bread or something? Like, uh, just- <laughs> you are such a mook, dude. <laughs> You got any rolls back there? <laughs> uh, Rodolfo, get the gentleman some rolls. <laughs> and then I stopped myself. And I was like, oh, actually, I'll just wait. Like, maybe she'll have some. Fun. It sucks. Why the fuck do I feel embarrassed no, in this place? I'm they don't have rolls at that joint. I'm trying to think of it because I go into those places and I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I think I'm so used to being insecure that I'm like, you're not going to make it worse. Yeah. And you're so secure. He's fighting it. Yeah. I'm not to handle this. I'm used to yeah. not being insecure. No, that is actually true. Like, don't get me wrong. I, we all have our super insecure moments, or whatever. But in most environments, I feel very comfortable Confident, in my skin. Yeah. I do. And I will, I'll be honest. But in certain places, I feel out of place. And it's like almost hard for me to like talk it's so weird that's a and trap the you're free do I care? you're not used to feeling yeah. like an imposter you're free you walk into these rich places you feel like an imposter yes yeah. i feel like an imposter every day baby yeah. he's <laughs> in the in he doesn't even feel I'm comfortable in, in the bodega he's yeah. in there like how much for a honey bun no, what the fuck? <laughs> never eaten at a place like this but this is garbage garbage if a place like a nice italian restaurant gives you bread i'll be like yo can we get some bread to take home Oh Dude. fuck yeah! <laughs> and you got meals, sauce. Oh, you I won't. want my leftovers. And oh, can we also this is yeah. another. This is another big divisive one. Is leftovers? I think taking leftovers is trash. This fucking guy. It is. It's pay trash. Pay for it, yo. Oh, dude. No, you I- pay for the experience. I sit there, and if you don't finish your meal, you what are you gonna? <laughs> Stop fucking You're Disney the guy who world. can't finish you order off the kids menu next time. <laughs> You're sitting here. Sense? You can't finish a fucking chicken. You can't finish a chicken breast <laughs> and a potato. <laughs> what then? You're calling what? The fuck, go get this in your hair. <laughs> get him the fuck out of here. You're nuts. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. Oh, you couldn't finish your oh, meal. Can we get him a Sprite with no ice and a lid, too, please? <laughs> do Fucking God. <laughs> he doesn't get it. I drink Sprite out the bottle. I got class, bro. He doesn't get it. See, when him and his girl go eat, they eat in a very German military way. They, eat, they each hey, get their own if dish. Foley is taking home leftovers. It's not about. He not orders being a able third entree. He doesn't fucking. Hey, there's no actual hey, listen, leftovers. An appetizer and a meal a is a lot. Yes, <laughs> he's <laughs> one to go. He goes. Let me get a chicken parm on that the way out. He ordered two for himself. Yeah, two for himself. <laughs> A big guy. You know somebody I mean? was coming. He didn't get, he didn't stuck get this traffic. way eating salad, dude. <laughs> Hit me late. I was like, is he on a date? But why does he, he already have two hundred? Oh, there's another guy coming. I swear. <laughs> he's he got ordering, stuck at the office. He's ordering three <laughs> drinks to confuse them. Guess he didn't make it. Wrap it up. <laughs> oh yeah. No, when me and my girl go out to Not dinner. Me for two, but just you is great. <laughs> he goes, we'll have, uh, he orders with wool for the table. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with the appetizer sampler. She'll do. Can you put it on four plates, please? I want to share with everybody. No, when me and my girl go out to eat, we get an appetizer. We each get an entree. There's leftovers. I'm sure you and your girl do the same thing. Absolutely. He just gets the bare minimum. He's eating talking? like a fucking I coal miner my meal, over here. Dude. I finish my meal. I'm paying 
you know, if we're going out to a nice place, we're paying a lot experience. of money. Yeah, man, you <laughs> yes. go and you leave. You take no, nah, this is insane. It's, it's not trash, virtual man. reality it's over not here. Insane. It's like, trash. It's, food it's called over. a doggy bag. The ori- we we dug into this because you would take it home and give it to your dog. <laughs> That's literally how it started in, in like World War One. <laughs> Did you take you any take, leftovers for, home last it's night? It's not for human consumption. That's animalistic. You're garbage? so mad at me Hold right on. now. No, no. He's so no, 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 no. I'm analyzing. I'm analyzing. This is pre microwave, pre oven, pre the ability, pre air fryer. It's for a dog, yeah. dude. It's yeah. for originally for a dog. Oh, back in the day, no, no, he's, you actually, he's actually brings you up what dog reheat. eats fucking mushrooms. So technology risotto. makes you more trashy with the microwave. That's no, insane. No, no, but now, now that you can reheat the food, it's not as trashy. <laughs> what, to eat. what dog eats mushroom? <laughs> Is that what you say? What you say? I tell you what, he ain't getting mine <laughs> with fucking a scallop on top. Take a hike. <laughs> Fuck that. It's not a dog. Nobody but calls it soup? a doggy bag anymore. <laughs> fucking about Fred Flintstone over here. The food, and he's still on the meal. <laughs> <laughs> the discussion was whether we were three should, minutes past that. Who should eat it or not? And he's still like. No, I'm not giving my dog <laughs> any of my leftovers. What are you fucking crazy? <laughs> you hear me, Mittens? You hear me? Uh. Okay, is this garbage, ready? You guys are talking about leftovers. Last night, uh, I would. it was a chef's tasting, right? So they like have the menu uh, already set up, yeah. I guess, right? I would finish mine, okay? My girl, there was like a, a bite or two left, mm-hmm. right? And they would come to take her plate, and then I would say, I'll finish it. And then, because they didn't want me to, like, just slide the plate over, sure. they would, like, pick it up and make, like, a thing of it and, like, bring it over to me. Is that garbage at a fancy restaurant? I, mean, I don't think that uh, should be bro, garbage. Geez, yeah. Uh, no, you Isn't it more there? respectful to the chef? Like, I don't want to waste your delicious yeah. food. It's great. Yeah I, yeah, I don't know. I think that's just, like... I if if I was I would have t- eaten it before they came over to take it. You know what I mean? I would have been like, yeah, Dude, yeah I would have. Yeah, that's 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 true. Fucking, yeah, it's all it's all. I don't know. It's all the thing. That chain here, I'm coming. Dude. <laughs> He's got his charm out. His Jesus <laughs> piece. You don't need this Real stress, tough. yo. Go eat. Wait, a are you saying is, is it garbage for I you? I've seen her in three months. I've been working on this fucking thing. I'm trying <laughs> to take her to night. This is stressful. All right, I acted like I planned it months in advance. I got a resi of Bubba Gumps. You cool with that? <laughs> Hold on. The whole thing is ruined because when I put the fucking reservation in, I have to use her resi uh, thing. App, the, yeah, the resi yeah, app, yeah. And then it gives her a notification. Ah, oh, so you I said fucking to her, idiot. I was like, yeah, I had this plan. <laughs> Bro, I know. I planned it for Buddy, weeks. you're a smart guy. You set this whole thing up. You're getting caught by the resi app? Bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Infuriating <laughs> because I had my... Uh, app. He knows you're too stupid to cheat. Just download your own app. Yeah, you <laughs> Dude, what? you built my this boy. amazing studio. Look, download look, look. an app. Here's the thing. My boy, this is my boy. He can like, uh, he works at one of these uh, services. They can get you shit that you sure, can Sure, yeah, get, concierge right? type Concier- thing. He's, yeah. He has a concierge service, right? Sweet. And, uh... So he hooked it up and he goes, yo, I gave your girl's number instead of yours. You know, I don't want to like give your number out or whatever. And I'm like, I don't think anybody cares about the number of this place. But then I've been telling my girl, <laughs> I planned this for weeks. And she, she gets, gets the like, fucking the pop ding, up yeah, on yeah. the resi. So I'm going to her the rest of the day. He's like, yeah, I planned this, whatever. And she's like, oh, but after I do this whole spiel about, yeah, you know, I, I wanted something nice for us, whatever. Like, she just had a curiosity. Why did I get a reservation ding today from resi? <laughs> Did you try to like backtrack and be like, well, they didn't I confirm? I put it in today. Okay. They asked me for COVID testing. That's what I said. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice, yo. Hey, but you you hey. did lie. I won't be. Yeah, I lied. That's great. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good for you. He ain't yeah. making it this deep into the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> She'll skim the first ten minutes. I put all the heat at the back end. I've learned this. I've learned this. Put all the heat at the back end. Man. Thirty minutes in, coast is clear. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> it's like a Fed wiretap. They gotta they gotta stop listening if they don't hear their name in five minutes. <laughs> All right, guys, we need to take a break for a second because you spend way too long shaving your balls, getting your balls all trimmed up, all right? And ladies, if your man's dick looks crazy because he doesn't shave it up, then you got to get him the Manscaped 3.0 trimmer. It's a no-brainer. Fellas, get it. It's going to save you time. First, I'm going to speak to the fellas. Shaving your balls in the shower, using the, the razor, you, then you have to come back and use scissors. It's it's a half an hour process for some of these people who got lots of hair on their balls. I don't know who I'm talking about. Maybe me, maybe not. Point is, you can expedite this into a few minutes once you get this Manscaped trimmer. It's that simple. Just take the time down 
And the upkeep is nothing. My balls have never looked better. I'm telling you, go to manscaped.com. You go to manscaped.com, okay, slash flagrant. Manscaped.com slash flagrant. You're going to get 20% off and free shipping. That's manscaped.com slash flagrant. What are you waiting for? Get your balls in check. Get them all shaped up. You need to end this year right and start this year, even the next year, even better. Manscaped.com slash flagrant, 20% off. Let's get back to the show. <laughs> oh, that's oh, funny. Fuck. Okay, give us another garbage. Uh, one of the big, uh, another big one on, it's very divisive, is, uh, oh, or people are very opinionated on it. What did you both get on your SATs? 1240. Woo! God damn. No, that's embarrassing for an Indian. I didn't want yeah, to say that's it. True. Right. <laughs> that's pretty true. <laughs> yeah. that I got, you got to at least get 13. I yeah. got into the college I wanted, but I was like, I should take it again just so I could say this number out loud. Damn. I hate saying it to Indians. And then it's always really? funny when white people are like, damn. I thought that was fine. Like, yeah. I thought that's good. Did. No, ch- yeah. go, go. I, I, I got an 1140. I got 1130. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got something. <laughs> it ain't good. Bro, I'm shocked you took it. Bro. I'm going to be honest with you. ACT written all over yeah. you, baby. <laughs> Spent a lot of weekends at Sylvan Learning Center for an 870. I'll tell you that. <laughs> My mom should have got her money back. Oh, yeah, dude. I, the whole thing for us was, it was, uh, I think it was like, you just had to get over like a thousand. A thousand. It was like over a thousand. If you can get four digits, it's like you can pretty much get into a, like a lot of state schools. It's like yeah. you'll get into a... A semi-reputable yeah, establishment. Like none of my friends are going to Harvard. You know what I mean? We all went to public yeah, school yeah, in New yeah, York yeah. City. It's of like, course. you're going to SUNY Binghamton if you're smart. <laughs> you're going to Albany if you're yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're going to fucking Baruch if, if you're not, right? Mm-hmm. Like, this is, this is kind of how shit went. Right, Al? I'm trying to think. Yeah, pretty much. You had to get over a 1,000, right? Yeah. Yeah, you, you were out? you were in the meaty part of the curve. You got eleven thirty. Eleven forty. Ooh, nice. my man. Fucker. Eleven forty, dog. Yo, that's Jesus. a big thing too. Satellite campus are fucking garbage. Yeah. Satellite. Campus. Satellite oh, campus. Like if you're like, like oh, I went to University of Miami in Pittsburgh. It's yeah. like, ah, come on, dog. Not a satellite campus, right? Isn't there a U Miami of yeah. Ohio? Yeah, there is. But there's there's uh there's there's a bunch in Pennsylvania. There's oh, a there's bunch a of satellite of in like Penn outside, State Altoona. But outside garbage. of uh, there's like you know, there's outside of Pittsburgh. There's like multiple satellite campuses for like fucking states and cities that are nowhere near there really yeah, Pennsylvania yeah. got tons of colleges and like Philly in particular and it's funny because none of y'all are getting in <laughs> to anything I so. went to TU dog Temple University oh, Ow. Temple. yeah 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 Cosby Me, right Cosby yeah was, that dude is a fun partier <laughs> <laughs> shout out to those uh, Phi Kappa Theta parties when you were there would he ever come back yeah, he would go to the games. Wait, all really? fucked up. Yeah, he would he would go to the football game. Our football team was terrible. We used to lose like sixty eight to the the spread would be like. Everybody say Cosby yeah. was the one that was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, but we uh, dude, we would lose so bad, and we played at the state of the Eagles, the Lincoln Financial Field. So like ten people would go, and we would just go to party and like hang out. Yeah, and he would be there all fucked up. Like you can look at there's like ESPN footage of him like fucking drunk as fuck and they're talking to him and he doesn't know what's going on. Ew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Temple had a good basketball team. Temple, yeah, yeah. when uh, Cheney was there. Yeah, the had coach a program no a couple sleep. times. Yeah. Ray Rice was Temple. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Yeah. not have a lot of uh, notable black alumni, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they all got some stains on their head. Yeah. God, Ray Rice. What? Oh, Ray Rice went to Temple? Did he? Yeah. Sure. Oh, my I'm Lord. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I could be wrong. I thought it was Temple. It's one of those schools that's not normally good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's either I Temple or Rutgers. Might have been Rutgers. Yeah. Might have been Rutgers. It's Both funny because Temple to us was a garbage school. It's pretty garbage. It's the it's like the yeah. She oh. got, yeah, and she was always like a Temple kid. We were forbidden yeah, yeah, yeah. to go there. Temple? Yeah, because it was so so dangerous. It was bad, dude. Did it was they really mean black? bad. Your family? Huh? Your family would mean black? Possibility. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's no, a, it was just it was so bad. It was mid nineties. It was terrible. Oh yeah. Yeah. Rough time. Yeah. We hear gunshots like daily. Where? And, like, Oh, uh, at Temple. North it's in Philly. the heart of North Philly. And it's like a, it's a campus where it's about an eight by eight block. And it's like safe on there. Mm-hmm. There's, they have like the second biggest John police Hopkins force. Is like that. Every college uh-huh. is like that. Yeah. USC yeah. is like that. Yeah. But like, dude, it's yeah. fucking bad. Like my dude, the people would run in Why the is house. Philly's so bad. I don't understand this. I had a joke about this. So, Philly's the one know. city where I've never heard of a good party. No, Every there's part not. Of Philly you say you got to keep from, your head on a fucking swivel. Yo, you swivel. from West Philly? It's crazy out yeah. there. North Philly? Oh, shit, you from South Philly? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's true, dude. So the suburbs is where the rich folks live. Yeah, it's Everybody a, it's a lot of white flight. Everybody like, got money and got out. When class. you're there, like whenever I did shows in Philly and I was around that kind of, what's that? Center thing? City. Yes, it's Center City. Yeah, that Center City. Yeah, that's all right. That's yeah, there's like a fifteen. Money. But yeah, there's like fifteen. There's Rittenhouse Square is there. A lot of old money there. Yeah, it's it been Franklin fine. and shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But dude, you go like 
outside of that very center city pocket, even at night, the center city gets fucking dicey. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. My and wait, but why is it so bad? Is it mafia shit, gang shit? Like what is it's the not deal? Uh, gangs, it's not really. It's just like it's like block to block. It's just fucking a lot of poverty, a lot of guns. You can get guns like in Pennsylvania, you can there's like no like New Gun York doesn't rule. have that many guns. Ah, so there's violence. A lot of violence. Got you. And the gun laws are really Loose. lenient. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Interesting. It's like you can go buy fifteen handguns at a time. Even in the city. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not, like, not like a CVS or anything. Yeah. No, nah, but you know what I'm saying? Like in New York, for example, like if you live upstate, you could probably get a rifle super easy. But in New York City, you can't. You have can't. You can't have a gun. gun. Yeah, yeah. So right yeah. Maxwell the got city, arrested, they have I think, for shooting himself, right? Really? Yeah. Yeah. You can literally, what they do is they send one guy in with a clean record to go in and buy like 15 handguns. Oh. And then he goes and just gives them out. He gets so they're real called straw, rural. straw purchases. Yeah, real roll real quick when you get outside the city. This That's is a bad combination. Yeah, I never understood why Philly is so is so rough, but maybe it's because like sometimes what happens when there's like a, a decently sized city that's close to a major city, you kind of drain sure. all the folks. Oh from yeah, it. that's sure. Even you guys come in here, like you could stay in Philly and do stand up there, but obviously New York is going to be more opportunities sure. you go. And yeah. I'm sure the same shit happens with business or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it just doesn't make sense because I think someone's telling me Philly's like the seventh biggest city in the country mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, big. It's not even. I it used to be top five, five yeah. and then it, like people are fleeing. Really? Or they have been over the past couple of years. Yeah. It just makes no sense. You have all these like schools, so you have all these kids that go there. A few of them should hang around. Yeah, but not a lot of them do. Dips. They no, get their money. I think and you're right. Go. It's a brain drain. It's like, why would I stay here if you're? Yeah, you, you can go to New York, York and, and make up. ten hours you know. in the city, baby. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. fucking hit the Lincoln Tunnel. The and city goodbye. in America is New York. Yeah, the, this is the city. And I'm imagine two, you're two hours, hours away. away from it. Yeah. Why would I? Ninety not? minutes. Yeah. yeah, and like everything is there. Commerce is all there, and there's entertainment there. Whatever you are, if you're the best, restaurants. Go to New York. You want fame? That's the spot. Did you guys start stand up in Philly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It was, it was, Philly, it was good. It was, yeah. It's like it's like one of the, it's a Northeast, so it's like Philly, Boston, New York, right? It's yeah. the same mentality. Yeah. A lot of ball busting, a lot of blue collar fucking families. It's like, yeah. my family's huge. My mom's one in nine. They're huge. It's all like Irish Catholic fucking construction workers. And like, I'm like the 15th funniest dude in my family. Like, Wait, your, your family's all construction workers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you couldn't finish a shed? <laughs> yeah, my stepdad owns a huge construction company. This is that's why it's that's how trashy we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it's garbage. I have an unfinished shed for ten years. Finally, like they, my mom was like, Thanksgiving when the whole family just finish the fucking shed. Yo, everybody bring your hammers, dog. Yeah. <laughs> we, got a, we got a fucking roof to put on. <laughs> yeah, it's super. Yeah, we're super garbage. It we got a huge hole not... in our basement waiting on an insurance check to come through. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, the, yeah, but it's interesting because like there's so many comics that come from Philly. That have had a lot of success in New York, but I feel like it Philly's not spoken about as a comedy city in the way that Boston is. Yeah. Well, I think it's distance. It's like when you start getting good mm -hmm. in Philly, you it's so much you can still live in Philly and come up to New York a couple times a week to start getting your name in, start getting some reps, meeting people. Whereas Boston dudes stayed in Boston. They stayed in Boston yeah. the whole Philly time. Philly is slept on as a talent city, like mm. Will Smith, fucking voice to men, yeah. Kevin Hart. There's massive people from Philly, and you don't think about it. But I think comedy needs a couple of more big people from Philly. Because Boston had everybody you loved 10 years ago. Whether it was Dan Cook or Louis C.K., Patrice O'Neal or Bill Burr. Yeah. They're all from Boston. So you couldn't look away from it. You were yeah. like, oh, Plus, we everywhere. slip in, too. We slip in. Yeah. We slip in and then fucking, you know, get mixed up down the village for a few years. There are games on doing this great. scene or over Kevin here. Hart level. That's you know thing. what I mean? Yeah, that's a good we point. We don't roll like... in Big Dick and we come in on the Mega Bucks. Yeah, it's true. Eating falafel but there's and like, slices. There's like, uh, um, how do I say it? It's like, uh, they haven't had superstars yet. They've had like New Kevin York Hart. stars. Yeah, yeah outside yeah. of Kevin Hart. Yeah. Like, like we, if you came up in the New York comedy scene, like you saw these guys that came up from Philly. You yeah. Know, Big Jay Robinson, Robinson, Keith, Jay, Keith, Keith Robinson. Yeah, like Kurt Metzger as Kurt, well. like so many guys come up from Philly. So like in your head, you're like, man, these Philly dudes are hilarious. But the only mega star so far is Kev. Yeah. So if you're somebody outside of New York, you might not be. The four familiar. Boston guys I named, they were everybody. Your favorite comic is one of those four. Yeah. And they're all from Boston. Also, at some Dennis point, Leary, like yeah. these dudes yeah. that were. Dude, back to the 80s. Like they Wait, were, was you Hicks know. from Boston? No, Hicks, Hicks was Texas. Texas. Yeah. That's right, right. Leno, I think, That's was from. Leno was up there. I think he went to school. I don't know if he was from up there, but he went to school up there and was started it Chicago up there. Or Chicago? Marin's something? up there as well. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they had a little move. Yeah. Also, they have the TV show, too. 
You know and they had I mean? that movie like, when stand-up stood out, the mm-hmm. propaganda piece they put out. But then also, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> them four is undeniable. Like, fuck, that's one city. You put that together and you're like, God damn. New, so, don't, New York is, you know, New York is not to be slept on either, though. Like people coming from New York? Yeah, like fa- New- co- comedians. Yeah, that's the thing I'm thinking. Like, how many of us are actually from New York? Rock. Rock. Seinfeld. Eddie Murphy. That's Eddie that Murphy. old generation. I'm trying to wonder, like, the new generation. Oh, no, you guys stink now. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I'm, trying to think, like, I'm trying to think who else besides me is you from Chrissy D. Oh, Chrissy, Giannis. of course. Giannis. Giannis. Ricky. Yes, yes. Ricky. Ricky. I'm so, yeah. Ricky. Pete. 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 Y'all doing it. No, no, yeah. we're all right. We're all right. All right, all right. No, that's yeah, a good yeah. point. That's a good point. I was just trying to think. It's so rare. Like, I even have these conversations with, like, Ricky mm-hmm. when we're coming up. We're like, yo, who else is actually from the city? Mm-hmm. And why aren't people doing it? And maybe sometimes when, like, it's so accessible to you, you don't lean into it. You know, yeah. like, when you're when you're from outside of the place to be, you want it so much more. Because sure. it's, like, right out of your It was mind. in lights to us. It was, yeah, like, yeah, a yeah, fucking yeah, Hollywood yeah. sign. It's so like, I'm going to go up there and combos. do comedy. Yeah. yeah, you're like, when are we moving to New York? That mm-hmm. was the conversation. You're like, how do I get up there? I got to get a job. I can find some way to get up there. And I think maybe sometimes people take it for granted when it's right in front of them. It's like when these people that live on the live on the beach don't surf. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, I don't know, that happened to me even like in college. I was like, oh, I'm just going to go to college in California and surf all the time. I like surfed like twice. It was like right there. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to really fucking want it if it's right in front of you, man. You have the board hanging up in your place, though? Yeah. Hmm. You got it. No, now you're saying? <laughs> no. Oh, back, back then? then? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> just doing nothing with it. That'd be crazy if you had it now. New York City apartment, you got a surfboard up there. Imagine. Imagine. Yeah, man. All right, guys, let's take a break real quick because you're probably hungry. You're probably listening to this podcast as you work from home and you can't go anywhere because it's fucking quarantine and they're shutting down indoor dining and you can't do shit. So what are you going to do? You're going to order food. What app are you going to use? Not any of these other bullshit apps. You need to use DoorDash. It is the app that brings you the food you're craving right now, right to your door. Ordering it is dumb easy. And with certain credit cards, you can get certain promotions. I know about all those because I'm Indian. DM me on the side if you want to know that information. But they got 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia. You can support your local go grow your you can support your local go-tos, or you can go to fucking Wendy's and get anything you want there. They got Chipotle. They got the goddamn Cheesecake Factory with the best brown bread on the face of the earth. Guys, all you got to do is, if you are a listener, you can get $5 off your first order and zero delivery fees if you spend $15 or more, which you're going to do anyway. Just download DoorDash and use the promo code FLAGRANT. F-L-A-G-R-A-N-T. You should know that if you're not a moron. $5 off, zero delivery fees on your first order when you download DoorDash and use the promo code FLAGRANT. Man, save yourself some money, get yourself some delicious food, and let's get back to the show. So have you guys done any stand-up, like, regularly? I know you said you're going back to Ryersford. Ryersford, PA Royersford. tonight, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, just, like, shit in the city. Yeah. Fucking, I did a... Uh... I did a weekend with uh, up at Mohegan Sun with Verzi, and they had to cancel so it midway through. Oh, they canceled Because somebody got COVID in on the, the staff. In the casino. Oh. A week ahead. It's, she hadn't been there in a week, but... A lot of people getting COVID right now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Not just me. No, so... Are you scared you sick of it? it? Are you scared of getting it? I mean that for real, dude. Like, Buddy, I, yeah. I took out a life insurance policy on the fucking guy. <laughs> Buddy. I just... I just signed a lease in Midtown on a studio space, and I got all I put all my eggs in Foley basket. You can, I got the will written out, and instructions what to do with my phone if I go down. <laughs> yeah, we're ready to rock and roll. No, but are you scared at all? Did you get it? Like, I mean, not more than anybody else. I don't think until now. Shit, what the fuck? <laughs> no, but for real. I mean, you could get, you could die. Yes, you know? scared of it. Uh, when that, when, when the little spike popped up in the comedy community, we locked everything down for a little bit. Yeah, you know what I mean. Also, but too, we, we missed mask, it by fucking. Giannis was on his way to our, oh, yeah. in the car, on his way to our studio. Fuck. He calls us. Yeah. Akash just called me. I might have been exposed. Fuck. Dude, I felt like fucking Neo in the Matrix. I was like, whoo. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking kept that studio open, baby. Yeah. yeah. We were like 10 minutes, like 10, 20 minutes away from fucking all getting it. You almost, you could have killed me. <laughs> Yo, low key, this experience with like you giving us COVID and then <laughs> seeing how quickly that it, shit it spread. Was Did you test positive for it? Yeah. Wow. The fuck? Oh, you I didn't, didn't know that? You didn't? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Nobody would know. Yeah, it shut down production for the Netflix thing. Oh, yeah. yeah it was yeah. crazy. Like it, we were like, I don't know when we we're gonna be able to come back. I literally tested positive the day before. We, sorry, tested negative the day before we uh, filmed. How long were you we two around each on. other for him to get the couple hours? Holy shit! Not but even we, I didn't even do the pod. Yeah, that day. 
Chrissy and Giannis replaced me yeah. because we were working on the Netflix thing. Okay. So he was just in the studio with us. It's, Dude, this is how crazy. That's it is. crazy. No, but think about it. And, then, and literally, I've been like very critical, obviously, of like, you know, the government officials shutting everything down, sure. this, that, the other. And I was like, ah, these fucking We're all bags. messed up. We're messed up all the time. Now, Why I will say this. This guy didn't have any symptoms. He gives it to Giannis. None of us have any symptoms. I had a guy like give me a haircut, then went to go propose to his girl. Thank God he didn't have it. But he's going to mm-hmm. Arizona propose to his girl. Then they're going to her family's Arizona. house in, or- in Oregon. Yeah. Getting on a plane. Some sh- ah, exponential that's growth, like, That's dude, how this shit goes. Out. And mm-hmm. whoever gave it to me did not see that many people. I came straight from here, so I know I didn't give it to those to the other comics on the show. They were like, I told you, they were at like Reading Terminal before, the sh- just grabbing a meal in Philly. And that might be where they got it. And that's the scary thing is like they we used to think you could only give it to someone when you're feeling shitty. Yeah. And if that was the case, it's like, all right, you're fine. Like as long as you're not coughing, you're good. Take your temperature, stay, yeah, stay. This guy felt good. I felt great. Yep. Do you know what I mean? Everybody and then the whole fucking staff gets it. Yeah. I don't know. It was just a little. Giannis little got the day after he was exposed to me, interviewed Colin Quinn. Colin Quinn got it. You don't even feel symptoms until three to five days. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's it is nuts. Yeah. It's One just, thing I'll say if anybody's listening that helped, I think, did you take vitamin D the whole time? Man, Start I, taking vitamin I, I, D now. I've been crushing vitamin D. Yeah, I've been crushing airborne. I think that helps if you what get zinc. I've been taking zinc. I've been taking zinc. I've been taking zinc. And he's on a, a daily dose of 15 mozzarella sticks, so it's all good. <laughs> Bacon and eggs every morning. <laughs> Is that what you do every no, morning? What's your breakfast? What do you want to know? Hell's going to lie to you, for sure. Okay. He's 100% going to lie to you. What do you want to hear? I want a, half a, a half a grapefruit and uh, a grapefruit. well, I still got that. I still got that chicken palm from last night. Got the doggy bag. I'm gonna heat up. Uh, breakfast lately has been eggs and bacon of some sort. But here's where I go wrong. Wait a minute. Can I just say one thing before you, you get here's into this? where I go Wait, wrong? Wait, hold on. Oh, oh, fuck. Bacon is that where you go wrong? Okay, where do you go wrong? I go wrong with uh, no matter if we go to the health food store because my girl tries to you know keep me healthy and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just went to the doctor, got a physical, all that stuff, so I'm trying to improve it. But where yeah. I go wrong, it doesn't matter if it's good for your food or bad for your food. I'm going to eat too much of it. Yeah. Like, what would you guys say is the normal serving of an English muffin? Of English muffin. How many English muffins? Is the fact that you think that's health food is crazy. I'm just saying. I'm just using it as an example. That's the word muffin. Let's say it. toast. That's okay. Let's say spelt bread at the fucking... At, at Two slices. Two, yeah. You say two slices. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That's a viewpoint. Two, sure. Yeah. What do you two, got? Two feels a bit excessive. Two? Nah, two. nah, you can go two. Two is, you know, you do two. Two is legit. But yeah. like, you you should be good at two. Yeah, well, how many do you yeah, have? Yeah, Like two sandwiches worth. Like, so four <laughs> slices. <laughs> I'm nah, being serious. Two slices? Yeah, two yeah. slices. Yeah, see, well, I, got, I don't, yo, I don't eat bread. Yo, if you want to get back in shape, I get you. Okay, this is my dream. Everybody with the keto and I know what's bad for you. I know what I'm doing. We did it. We did keto. We did keto. We did it on our podcast. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah. Those are two very different things. I know what to do. But no, no. This is this is a this is. I'm like Rembrandt. I'm off on my own. I realized when we were talking on the podcast, we go back to art school. We didn't do it. But here's the thing. I think, in the spirit of your show, there's probably nothing more garbage. Than the fat dude that loses all the weight and then starts wearing like the tight clothes yeah. and like really showing yeah, up the yeah, mod yeah. and really leaning into it. That's a garbage thing to do, is it not? Here's yes. the thing. I, I, in the spirit of your show, even if you gain all the weight back, at one point in your life, you, you have should. to lose everything and then start dressing like me. Yeah. I mean, I want to see like skin in your ripped jeans. Listen, I'm gonna tell you, there's yes. th- there's there's break up. The with only thing worser, the only thing sadder worser. than being oh. worse. That's an eight seventy for you folks. <laughs> What's an eight seventy? That's his SAT scores. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. 870, we call him around uh, areyougarbage.com. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think I beat that on math, to be honest with you. <laughs> the only no, thing that's worse. That's true. If you got higher, if you're a dude, you got higher in, what is it, English? Or what, what English, it was English, yeah, English and if math. If you got higher math, English, you're gay, bro. That's the, honestly, yeah. that's 100% Yeah, gay. I had higher math, yeah. yeah you got to have higher math, yeah. dude. Okay, go on. Here's the thing. The only thing worse than being the fat guy is yeah. being the fat guy that just lost weight. No, it's not. Yeah, dude, because you know, the way the face is. That's the and, fat like, the seeping into his brain. It's yeah, convinced yeah, himself of that. You don't want to yeah. be that lose guy. Weight. Yeah, yeah, you do. You want to you lose it slow, naturally. No. Three slices that ain't working for you. <laughs> yeah. Then you scale back <laughs> to two. What the fuck are you talking Wait, about? Wait, hold on. The fact that, let's, I, want, I want to do this because we did it on our, our, our don't Patreon. Don't lie to my face. Well, you like know I'm what's funny is is you stung me. Listen, 
I, I don't know why we're going this way in the conversation. But <laughs> I'll go. I'll, I'll entertain we this for a little care bit. care about you. But I'm yeah. starting to we sweat here a little live. bit. I was told I was going to come in here and have a good time. No, <laughs> we gave you the seat with no sides. Yeah, we, need we had to reframe <laughs> the whole fucking room with the cameras. <laughs> we need you to live. Alex was in here last night. To <laughs> <laughs> we had a structural engineer yeah. come check the fucking. They're like, maybe if we get a drone, we can fly it above. Let me see a picture of this kid. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, okay, go, go, go. I recently went to the doctor, yeah. got my physical. I'm on you a look thing. like the boss in Monster Sync. <laughs> 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 I'm on a path now. I'm exor- I'm exercising to a degree every day. We're pulling back. So this is this is this is just conversation. Did but you, you really sentence? stung hold me. On, you got to on, me. Hold on. Did you hear that sentence? <laughs> I'm exercising. I'm exercising. I'm exercising. No, no. He said, I'm exercising yeah. to a degree every day. <laughs> <laughs> to a degree. To a degree. There's an asterisk against that. <laughs> Let me put the butter <laughs> on the <table. laughs> My doctor One, said I should two, walk a three. half an hour a day. That's all I mean. I don't really think I'm out there doing a CrossFit. Yeah, or not anything. the usual walk to Burger King. I don't want to misrepresent myself. I'm I'm, I'm I'm walking exercise, <laughs> <laughs> but I will say there was a lot. There was that turn of like, all right, it's not really funny anymore. We're worried about it and stuff like that. And you stung me with one, maybe like three months ago. I said it with love. Ago. I hope I didn't say anything mean, but go ahead. Well, here's I didn't know what you I, you I was I was you bugged me out because like you did it so sincerely and like I was we were we were doing a rooftop show. All right, and uh, and I was hosting, and I was standing in the corner. I just lit the person, like literally. You know, I'm in fucking. You know, I'm hosting. I'm at work. People in the apartment below banging on the ceiling. <laughs> <scene. laughs> <laughs> the fuck off my roof! <laughs> they just heard you fee fi fo fum up to the mic. <laughs> go on, go on. Yeah. Hey, not got the basketball game up there, will you? It's just me laying on the couch. Jur- Jurassic Park downstairs. They just got the water. Go on. <laughs> 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 Jeff Goldblum, <laughs> clever oh girl. Oh dear. Um, okay. No, but you walked up, so I was like in like the zone. You know, I was in the zone. Yeah, I was about to leave, like, so I had to talk to you at that. And moment. he walks out, and he like gingerly puts his hand on my shoulder, and he looks at me right in the hand. He goes, "Why do you have to describe with more food?" <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of steaks on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Just no, the way no. the cookie crumbled that night. <laughs> he gave me a full entree. <laughs> he gave me two entrees of advice. Um, and he like looked me right in the eye and he's like, are you okay? And I was like, I think I was like, sw- I would, I, I, you're sweating now, dude. I'm not, I don't want to yeah. say anything. I was on like four edibles at the time, so I wasn't really sure what you were alluding to. So I, <laughs> <laughs> they were cheesesteaks, but <laughs> I get my crab cakes and tea. Yeah. Oh my god, yo! <laughs> Okay, go, go. So, he so fatty at, eats his weed. Yeah, you go to the weed guy here. You're all, right, all right, come on. He's looking you in the rib eye, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, go, go, go. And he just said, are you okay? And like, he said it sincerely. And he's like, you know, things are starting to happen now. You have to take care of yourself. And that meant a lot to me. Yes. And I, I, that was like right after that is when I scheduled my doctor's appointment. I got insurance and all that stuff. And, and I'm on my way. I'm in the middle of like seven different appointments right now. You know what I mean? That's amazing. I went and got my chest x-ray. My EKG was fine. All that kind of stuff. I am pre-diabetic. Yeah. Pre, pre-diabetic. He keeps Honestly, adding more pre's on it, and news. I don't even know if that's medically a that's thing. That's what he said. Good news. It's a little, you know, just finding that a little bit better. Well, I said news. when he was going to the doctor, he was petrified, and I said, dude, the best thing can come out of this is, like, a little bit of a scan. Like, I'm like, I don't, if they come back and say, you're the you're healthiest healthy. guy I've ever met in my life, yeah. the governor's <laughs> off, and you're going to be dead in a month. Yeah. Like, See yeah. you, around, I, you need to get checked and scared to change your behavior, and yeah. it, I think it has. It's all very so new. What I, what I said and I to quit you- smoking. I'm on the nicotine gun now. Yeah. What's crazy is nicotine actually is a thermogenic. It helps you lose weight, which is hilarious. That's but, why I take it. But. <laughs> Am I buying this? He now eats. He now chews the gum, so he also eats the cigarettes, too. He quit smoking them, and now he eats them. <laughs> he just takes an ashtray and just yeah. dumps the fucking. Parliament's in a little mustard. Not too bad. <laughs> Pay that. What I said to you, and I mean this, is everything you work Wait, for. Wait, how did this turn on me You like brought this? it up. I did not bring it up. Yes, you did. Yeah, the I second, the second we had to get really? a new chair no, for you. You asked me if I was scared to. Because the of the Rona, yeah. yeah. No, you asked I would never have brought this for an intervention. <laughs> no, I, I did. That's, that's what this was. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah, Koch was like, Are these yeah. cameras even on? <laughs> well, I brought up all you garbage. I was like, you have this incredible thing. Mm-hmm. Everything you yes. worked for is about to come true. Right. And this is going to be the best time. The way up is the best. Mm-hmm. 
I'm worried you're not going to get to enjoy it fully if you're overweight. Um, I, and when you said that, I took it to heart. It I did because he called me. Yeah. He was like, dude, Akash got like it fucking shook him to the core. And I said it with love. I, and no, and I, I, was, I'm saying, I was like thinking about it. I was like, I can't come down on this kid. Of course you did. And I, I really appreciate it. And there was one or there was, you know, a couple of incidents I like think that. I texted you beforehand. Like, has he gained weight? Or you am did. I tripping yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you texted me. Yo, you texted me about him. And then he, he was like, Akash it. said something to me last night. I was like, yeah. oh, I'm, I get I it, dog. I get why a pandemic makes anybody They were giving away frozen pizzas at the trade fair. I'm a fucking human being over here. The point is, I care Why about are you people. At the trade fair. <laughs> my gro- local grocery store. <laughs> oh, I thought that's like where you learn how to like be a carpenter. Or something like that. <laughs> CHI Institute or something. Yeah. <laughs> he thought he was multitasking. I was working on a two-stroke motor and. Uh... <laughs> no. So yeah, it's it, the way I see it. It's yeah. it, it's it's behind us. We're moving forward and we're done. And I didn't take it anything but with Good. love. And anybody who said anything, I, I haven't taken a, 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 anything but with love. Yeah, but then there gets to it to this like annoying point where you're like people are trying to give me like life advice and Well yeah, it is there. Because you know it is there because you know this thing. It's not yeah. like they're telling you something that That's you don't know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I know but how many English muffins you're supposed to have. Here's the thing. It, <laughs> it's selfish he runs out of breath also, in simple sentences. <laughs> it's, it also is, is selfish on our part because like as your friend you feel like you got to say it because if you don't, you're an asshole. Yeah. But it's really the salad fork. You guys want to make yourself feel better. <laughs> well, you're it's no also, better than the waiter at the restaurant. That, no, no, that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is like, if I don't say anything to you, I got to get it off my chest. Yeah. Do you know you got to clear your conscience. I got to clear my conscience. So at the funeral, you could be like, I told I him. Warned I warned him, yeah. I did my we best. We had him on the show. Hey, I tried to talk Foley, to him. <laughs> you're fat. We good? Well, All right, good. That record that's right it. Now. That's yeah. it. Say it right in the camera. Yeah. <laughs> It is I weird, but I do it. think there's there's part of it. No, 100%. Sure. Any friend I've had who struggled with like substances or whatever, I've been like, yo, I, if I don't say something and something happens to this guy, that I'm it's That's on you. Yeah, yeah. It's a selfish, it's a selfish motive well, for sure. I can tell you this, it worked. I quit smoking. I'm, I'm, I'm walking around the track with my girl almost every day and we've reduced what we ate and it's just going to take a little bit of time and it's going it's to be great. Yeah, you got this. Let's yeah. Go. I'm now, do it. we do lunch here? Let's do <laughs> <laughs> can we order in? What's going on? You guys got a Jimmy John's close by I can talk to? <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. So what else? What is next? What happens with the pod? What are you guys' dreams about it? Like, I don't know, I'm man. I'm curious about we, what's we just, happen. Uh, we took a, I took a page right out of... I talked to you about it. I took oh, a page yeah. out of fucking... Come on. Sh- we're we're Team Schultz great... the whole way. Yeah. Because we, we built like... So we made a set... It's a great we, we, set. We rented a studio. We rented yeah. a space in Midtown. Turned it into a studio. Yeah. All in like fucking four days. That's like yeah. wild. So we didn't miss any episodes. I mean, it looks like a basement. We put up like wood paneling. Yeah. It looks like your fucking aunt's basement yeah. or whatever. Yeah. In the I 90s. imagine he slept. Yeah, 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 yeah. For, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, a lot true. of the shit is from his house. Like we went back to our parents' yeah. house and like got all these old fucking tchotchkes and shit. Yeah. He's got his football jersey hanging up on the wall and like framed. Old number 62. What's a tchotchke? A tchotchke is like a white guy thing for a knickknack. <laughs> Oh, okay. There's a, a knickknack still a kind of a white guy called, thing. Uh, office, office space. That's why. I, yeah. yeah How many tchotchkes you got on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Or that flair, pieces of flair. The restaurant yeah, the was called tchotchkes. Tchotchkes. Yeah, 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 it was yeah. pieces of flair. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so you guys got this great studio. So we built the studio. Uh, Toby's producing. Toby's the producing. Toby's he fucking came in. The, the video quality is fucking. Right. We're like running. It's cool because it's like there's three of us and one of them's him. So there's two of us. Yeah. Uh, and we're really fucking just like running and gunning. It's exciting. We're growing every fucking week. Yeah. You know, we, YouTube's been really good for you guys. YouTube's yes. been great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, man, we're do. We're literally just following the fucking Schultz. I oh, text yeah. him well, as here. things like, as I'm like making a decision, I'm like, Hey, how about this? He's like, that seems right to me. I'm like, yeah. oh, well, Schultz said it. We're doing it. Well, anything yeah. you guys need, we are here for you, man. Any way we can help. I, I think it's just so great. But if there's one piece of advice that I would give you, and I've given you a million times, I'm not going to say it anymore unless you do it. It's making a 10 I know. minute episode of this it's just the highlights yeah. just take the are you garbage section i'm telling you that explodes that's that's the next thing we're just fucking hemmed every up person production that wise. comes up with a movie the, every person that comes out with a movie will want to do that little 10 minute thing mm-hmm. it just separates it it feels like its own show and then you get a sponsor for that i said hefty will sponsor it yeah like yeah, if I'm a I've garbage been talking bag to you company, about hefty. literally, if you're a garbage bag company, would you not? Well, it's funny they do advertise like YouTube puts hefty commercials in front of the fucking in front of the show. They know what they're doing. No, but also they don't. They just see the word garbage. Garbage, yeah. As if Throw people are there. YouTubing garbage. Yeah. yeah. Also, the people that are watching our show aren't buying name brand fucking trash bags. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're, fun, they're, they're they're using like the shopping bag. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Gallon bag on the ten gallon can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've yeah. ever taken the uh, the bag from the grocery store and like hooked it around. The, on like a knob or something, yeah. And push it in, and that's the trash bag. Definitely garbage. Yeah, 
I need to That's see a big this New York minute. thing, though. Yeah. I need to see this 10 We'll do it. I mean, I'll you, be the first one. You told me. And when, after your episode came out, you texted me. You're like, dude, do cut it at a 10-minute version. It's like, yeah, I mean, I just... I mean, at that point, I was doing all the production. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Call Toby. We'll have a call with Toby. But I want lights changed. I want it to be dramatic. You know yeah, tell to- like, Toby's already got a laundry list of shit to do. He's going to love a phone yeah, call with more responsibility. Yeah, like, he wants to be a millionaire, but bust yeah. out, Yes, but bust out cigarettes. Like, you guys got to get into character a little bit. Like, mm-hmm. what would be the most garbage thing to do? Like, drink a... Like a Diet Dr. Pepper. Or something yeah, like that. Like, you're a big Dr. Pepper guy. A diet Texas, cherry, he's a big Dr. Dr. Pepper guy. The Mr. Soda. Piv is garbage. Dr. Pepper is class, no, no, bro. The, what is this? What the is trashiest it? soda is a is a cherry vanilla Diet Dr. Pepper. That is the yeah. official beverage of the garbage nation. That or Mountain <laughs> Dew is tough. Any Mountain brand, Dew. any version Mountain of Mountain Dew is tough. Mountain Dew Surge or any of those. No, it's yeah. got to be a diet because that's the trashier thing. If you're drinking <laughs> regular. You're coming at Dr. You're drinking Pepper regular right soda like that. <laughs> you're, com- you're owning yourself. You're coming at it, Dr. It, Pepper, buddy. It, it's a doctor, okay? It's got a degree. That's why no, it's the, it's, it's, it's the diet. It's the diet. It's the diet that makes it trash. And it's bottled in Texas. These are two things very Dude, near Dude, Texas people, we found out, Texas people are diehard Dr. Pepper fans. They don't fuck with anything Like, they don't fuck with anything else. It's like. No, we're a Dr. Pepper family. Dr. Like, Pepper's like, one, from like Texas. through and through, bloodline, yeah. generations, Dr. Pepper. This it's fucking great. wild. It's like a part of the culture there. It's, it's weird. That's also, why we Philly's call so every garbage. soda what we're compared to. Thing. Yeah, True. that's South they're, does that they're too. They're standing on a flag for Dr. Pepper. We're throwing batteries at people. <laughs> that's why we're trash. You know, I'll be coming here with that Mr. Pibbs and shit. No, okay. <laughs> Yeah, Come man. On, I gotta you. see it. I gotta see it. We'll I'm, do it. We'll do it. We're just we're you know we're we're getting our legs in the new studio, and once we get uh, everything ironed out, and we'll I like how your it. mind works. That like you know you, you like you, like you did it, and then you had notes. I love that. Yeah, That's I awesome. mean, if I see people doing shit right, one if I if I see people that are curious and like with good intentions, I always love to help as much as I can. Oh, but when you're doing it, it right, I'm like. There might be a tiny little thing that you could change that's going to have way bigger results. Sure, I like it. There's also, there's a thing too. We noticed that every time we're doing it, there's something, it's it's very noticeable. You even call it out in yours. There's always a moment like 10, 15, 20 minutes in where it clicks in the guest head and like we see it and they're, they're no longer like, oh, so I started comedy doing it or whatever. It's like. They're telling the story about a memory that they haven't thought about in 20 years. And, it clicks. and it like, it's like they blink and then like blink again. And they're like, fuck. And you even stood up. You're like, oh, fuck. Okay. You're like, I fucking like. Yeah, let's you're go. like, let's go. You should even... start every episode with that moment. Just yeah. real quick. It should be oh. it should be like 15 seconds. Damn, you're good. My Shorty. mom would make macaroni and cheese. Where were you with that one? With the blah, blah, blah. Like my mom would make macaroni and cheese with da, 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 because it's, and then stop. Stop it. Are intro, yeah, boom. Begin the thing. Because That's now nice. they're like, I need to I, see. I'm hooked on that. Damn, you're good, Schultz. Because think about it. Like you guys are in acquisition mode obviously we all are yeah yeah, but like maybe we're at a place right now where people are familiar with akash they're familiar with with you from other avenues well we're the thing is we're nobody exactly we have no following and and when i say exactly i'm not trying to be insulting what i'm trying to say is like everybody that's finding you is right now they're coming to you because of either the person you're talking to or Mm -hmm. the conversation you're having yes Mm -hmm. right so those are the most important things driving 100 whereas for us, somebody can be like, oh, I love Akash's stand-up. I want to check out Flagrant. Oh, I love Andrew's stand-up or like the monologue videos. I'll, he does a podcast too. I'll check that. Mm-hmm. You guys We only have the show, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Well, no, no. This is And it's great. And as the show gains popularity, now all of a sudden they're tuning in for you guys. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. And then the guest could be a complete no-name, but you're going to give them equity through your yeah. family. Yeah. Right? Well, we notice that because we'll do... He's on that. He's on... He, uh, yeah. he, he's good. I'm literally just he's following He's a good student. Here. Of good you. Please. That, um, it's for everybody. Oh, because like we started... I'm like, long-term, it's it's unsustainable to have... to interview someone because we're cranking out two episodes a week. You're interviewing a, a different comic every week. Yeah. So we come up with a formula to bring people back and stuff like that, and it's been a lot of fun. But also, I'm like, at the end of the day, we have to make them fans of ours, which they don't realize they are because we'll release, like today we released an episode of Just Me and Him. Yeah. And it does the same numbers yes. as like a regular yeah, fucking yeah. comedian. And you, you know? should so continue like, to do that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, Every once in a while, you absolutely should. Mm-hmm. You guys can have your games, you know, for, for the guard. But I just thought it was such a fun We get the fans involved. We answer their questions. Yeah, that's part of the, the Patreon when you join the Patreon. Oh, that's And great. we figured out a way to bring guests back, which we want to have both of you guys back. So, yeah. To the, we I'm not the, coming back until I can do the 10 minute thing. Fair enough. Um, but we read the Patreon questions to the, we call it company, having company over. Are you garbage? And then it's a 10 minute, what is it called? Uh, I mean, the 10 minute would be, instead of making that 15 seconds, 15 seconds on back of the podcast, yeah. wouldn't it just be that's it? And then you go from that moment, from that light bulb moment, and then the rest Theoretically, continuously? Yeah. Theoretically, What yeah. is it called when the... Um, well, we just started playing around with the... When you know, they're the, like the interrogation, that's what it should be. It should be like yeah, an interrogation. The, yeah, the, something to sit but down yeah, the interrogation. Yeah, that's kind of where What's the most garbage from? cigarette? 
Paul Malls probably. Paul Winston's. Mall Parliament's up there. Parliament's, no, Parliament's, oh, Parliament's fancy. Kind of classy. Nah, yeah. the fucking tip. That's classy. Yeah, here. Nah, that's, nah, nah. Trash. that's new money. That's trash. Yeah. That's conditional every day type shit. No. But I want to see a bump of George coke. Clooney on. on this. Yeah, you know he saying? got his number. Like, what the fuck? I so do I. No, no, but like, I, I, I'm no, just I see that potential. Like the the more bougie the person, George, finding out that this is my garbage. Is so likable for them. I know, but we're this is behind the yeah, this is behind the curtain a little that. bit. Can this I is my one, concern. One I said we're not stopping until we get Paul Rudd. That's what I want. I want Rudd. Well, perfect. But here's the thing: the 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 genius, and I'll rarely use this with Jimmy Fallon, but the genius of Jimmy Fallon's show, right, is that the games he's playing with the guests make the guests look vulnerable. Every yeah. other show is usually look how fun you are, look how okay. great you are. Look sure. at, so this jo- show is a device for vulnerability. Akash sure. is out here. Hold on, okay. go go. No, but it's not genuine. What Jimmy Fallon doing isn't genuine vulnerability. On our show, we're all it, real, baby. Yeah, it's, that, that's I don't think it's I don't think fucking Tom Cruise will come in and I'll be like, dude, you drank milk for dinner. You're a fucking loser. I don't think he's gonna. He's fucking, not gonna. You're gonna say that to him. Yeah. You guys are gonna be in this position where you get to call this famous person who's way more successful than you guys garbage, right? Mm-hmm. And it makes them look better if they're laughing at how garbage they were. They look yeah. cool. Yes. I don't and, think they would play along with it no, that well. Let me tell you, they have to. Because one, one, it's vulnerable and likable and it's relatable. Mm-hmm. The more bougie and successful you get, the less relatable you are. Adam Sandler's been wearing the same stupid outfits for his whole life just so mm-hmm. he can trick us into thinking he's not worth $400 million. Yeah, shout out to the Sandman doing like, it right. Well, he's genius for that. Yeah, yeah, but he's yeah. like, look the how every day you got, you've never and... seen him in a suit. Yeah. Yeah. You've never you seen be... him in a suit. Hey, look at me. I go to the YMCA and play pickup. He don't want to do that. <laughs> but he knows he's got a movie coming out and he's mm-hmm. got to get some buzz on TMZ. So this is a perfect opportunity to see how quote unquote relatable and it's up to you guys to make it genuine. I like sure. it. Yeah, I think and you, you are- said that from the beginning. You said and like when we came up with it, it was just a way to make fun of each other. Yes. But then I even used what you said in the pitch when you know when I'm feeling myself and somebody asked me what the podcast you have or what's behind it, uh, is you said it humanizes comedians. Yeah. And that's that that was really true. And I noticed that uh, a lot, I always say this on Mark Norman's episode, to hear how he like what I thought he grew up like, and to hear how he actually, actually grew, up, grew up, yeah. It's like, oh, this all makes sense now. You can see the pieces of the comedian that's in front of you yes. being built. Well, over it can the now, years. I could easily do that with even Hollywood elites. They, to Schultz's point, they don't want to seem elite. They know they yeah. are that, but they no, don't we, ever we want to. We agree with you. I don't know what I, this bozo's talking about. That's Dude, it. I, Cut the cameras. I'll it's take, over. I'll take Clooney and Tom Cruise tomorrow. Dude, no, you, know, but, you know who really works on that? It's like <laughs> Kim Kardashian. The more Come on. bougie they are, the the more that their perception is elite and yeah. rich, the more valuable a conversation sure. about their garbageness will be. They're yeah. going to be so eager to be garbage. Yeah, and not only are they going to be so eager to be it, everybody, even if they aren't garbage, has one garbage thing. They do. And I'm telling you, when you find out that yeah. it's garbage, like what Akash went through with milk, what he went through these, when when you start to realize- like, The conditioner. Oh my, God, with conditioner, when you start to realize these things <laughs> so about yourself, it's, so it's unbeknownst to you, because yes. the last thing that you want to do is walk around every day going, God, I grew up kind of like fronting about who I was. Mm-hmm. We always yeah. say, that's the, you know, it's a show that- we want to bring people together from all different walks of yeah, life. Yeah, cut that gay shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, he always does the fucking <laughs> uh, the elevator but pitch. The of point fucking. is, is that we're that we're, that we're all garbage. Yes, no, I agree, I agree, I agree. Coming but to Disney Plus. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's awesome, man. Thank I, you. I'm dude. just very excited for Thanks, you guys. I, I really want. Uh, yeah, I just really want. I really want people to find out about it. I, I really, I really do, man. That's I appreciate why I, I know that. When we were doing this, I, I just, I think the guys really like it. Go check it out. And you guys are putting out like clips and that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. I clips swear are to material. Everything changes if you do the ten minute version. I love it. Yeah, I agree. I, that's the next step. We're there, just, there's we're still thing. getting our footing. Sorry to interrupt. Sure. Yeah, you go. I've been watching on uh, on YouTube, right? I like try to like find these little like series. And there's like a British. YouTube channel called like uh, Uni Lad or something like that or like Lad Bible something like that right they do this show and it's seven minutes with or 13 minutes with nine minutes with and then they just kind of have a person who's got an interesting like a terminally ill person yeah uh, a pedophile hunter like a heroin addict Mm -hmm. and it's just nine minutes but you get to hear from the actual person what their life is about and they just target the most interesting or intriguing person the fact that it's got nine minutes in the title for whatever reason makes me go this is not this is no time i can learn everything i want about in, nine, in minutes. nine minutes and then i'm fucking you condense a lifetime into nine 100%. minutes yeah. literally their entire life yeah, yeah yeah and it's just something about that making it so digestible <clears throat> you watch a few of those and then you end up falling in love with the host 
And then you're just like, oh God, I just want to see anybody on this show. It's yeah. so much fun. And you find, I just love you it. Yeah, cut the fat, Bozo. What I've been telling you. <laughs> <laughs> talking about cutting the fat. Show what are you guys. talking about? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? I thought the you only... did it on purpose. Yeah. I thought you were self aware. <laughs> no, he's not that smart. To do 870, we said it. His weight and SAT score. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, guys, let's take a break real quick. Because I got to tell you, I think I found something better than coffee. Not I think. I know, I'm basically off a coffee. I still love the ritual, I'll still drink it, but when I really need to focus and lock in, you know what I do? I pop two NeuroRoot. I am not bullshitting you at all. It is the perfect thing to focus. As a matter of fact, I think it's even hard to get right now because they're sold out, but as soon as they get more, I'm getting more. It is a one-of-a-kind nootropic, which boosts your brain function, and it's got a sublingual tincture, so you can, you know, down, put it under your tongue if you don't want to take a tech capsule because you're a loser, but... All you got to do, take NeuroRoot, you get uh, better brain function, better memory development, a positive mood, you're living great, you're clear-headed, it has vitamin B6, uh, mucinopurines, a bunch of other shit that's a precursor to dopamine. Guys, I don't understand the science, even though I'm Indian, I should, I don't, but take NeuroRoot, feel energetic and clear-headed, it's a fucking no-brainer. All you got to do is go to NeuroRoot.com slash flagrant, that is N-E-U-R-O, didn't even look at the fucking copy for that. R-O-O-T dot com slash flagrant and use the code flagrant and you get 20% off. Guys, do it. I promise you it will work. It's very simple. Get it done. Now let's get back to the show. Okay, so what you guys got coming up, man? Um, Like I said, we just... Make sure you pitch out. Yeah. Where are the YouTube channels? Say it all. I want we, everybody to know about it. We just went out on our own. Uh, We left the network we were with. We went out on our own. Fucking rolling the dice. Betting on ourselves. So Fucking. it's... Uh, <laughs> what? Fucking rolling the dice. Fucking Marky Mark over here. <laughs> yeah. You said that. Back why? In. Betting on ourselves. Well, yeah, why did about you guys us? leave uh, Gas Digital? Because we wanted to be able to we build wanted to do, our own set. Yeah, we wanted to, to like have our own, our own thing. Like yeah, yeah. They, they were great. And like Lewis, Unbelievable. he built his own world. And you built your own world. Yes. I would look at like Shots the Hysrienas Lewis, and Tim yeah. Joe. And I'm like, that's yeah. what I want. Like, I don't want to just be a show on a roster. I want a fucking universe, yeah. you know? Absolutely. Um, so uh, it's, the podcast is Are You Garbage? Wherever you get podcasts, you know, iTunes, Spotify, all that bullshit. YouTube is YouTube slash Are You Garbage? Full HD video available there. And Patreon.com slash Are You Garbage? We do bonuses. Yeah. Um, you know, like we did the McRib taste test. We played Are You Garbage with our moms. We called our moms to find out who was more yeah, garbage we, with we our moms. more garbage? Who do you think? They were both yeah. neck and neck. They were, it was tough. My mom got a little political yeah. at one point. What'd she do? <laughs> she just started shitting on Fox News yeah. that they... Because she's a Republican, and she's like, oh, they, because they called, like, Arizona earlier or yeah, something. Yeah. So she was like, we don't watch that in this house anymore. Like, she was real fucking, <laughs> she's, she, so a lot of wine flowing down there. What? Is, she, is she on, like, One America News or whatever now? <laughs> well, yeah. she's, well, yeah, whatever <laughs> Trump's going to come out with, she's fucking, she's, she's full board. She, oh, they want to really? move, move to Florida. Highest and fucking, Patreon, she's like, Trump News Network. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Oh, let's go. Um, so, okay, <clears throat> now, is that tricky? What? navigating that with my mom yeah 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 now like I like when I go home she got I'm a the, couple of wines in her yeah start spouting nah, off at the mouth I, don't, I haven't been home since the election obviously because like COVID and shit yeah yeah so it might be dicey but like also I don't engage with her about it really we'll have like a, we'll have like an educated conversation yo our parents used to say like I don't talk politics that generation ah. that's all so they right. well they so, so right. right well what till Facebook so came around right. and that's all they fucking that's they're true. just sharing the all this bonko shit people that's in true. the burbs they don't got shit to do they're sitting around Fucking arguing over this shit while drinking fucking white People claws in the city and stuff. argue about this shit all the time. I know, but we go home and we want to sit and relax with our family and stuff like that. Then you have like some cousin that chimes in with it. So yeah, I think oh, that's yeah. why they're always yapping about it down there. Shouldn't talk about politics ever. It ain't worth it. Nah. Maybe Facebook, the reason why they do it on Facebook is because they can disconnect from it, right? True. Yeah. So it's like if you're at dinner with the whole fam and somebody brings it up and you know it's just going to be like this huge fight. Mm hmm. It's not worth it. But, but people face, come at it from but that they Facebook get the emotional, perspective. They get the em you know what I mean? Like, like they can't separate you're in person, you're online. So it's like they say something over the dinner table that's like you could tell would be all in caps on Facebook like a fucking psycho. You know what right, I mean? Right. And it's like, dude, fucking relax. I want to know about like the, uh, the, uh, the Trump political dinner conversation. Like, do you have brothers or sisters or anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And are they also conservative? Uh, Tell me about the family fights. That's what. Yeah, I'm well, like especially when I go home and it's all like my fucking meathead uncles and cousins and Love shit. They're okay. like, ah, oh, there's the Democrat, the New York Democrat. <laughs> like, are you liberal? Uh I would. Uh, no, but to them he is. So he's, a, they he's, are. he's in the yeah. entertainment. Yeah. Yes, I'm, yeah, yeah. I mean, liberal is defined on Twitter. No, I, you know, I'm right. not far left, insane liberal. I'm, right. you know, 
Packers. I call balls and strikes is the way I like to put it. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't uh, tuck in his Eagles jersey, so he's considered a liberal. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I know that you Deshaun Jackson uh, shirt tucked in. Mr. Fancy Pants up there in New York. <laughs> you and Chuck Schumer, huh? You and Schumer. Yeah. Wait, you're supposed to tuck in yeah. as a fan <laughs> to your blue jeans? That's a nice shirt, dude. You're good to go out shirt. Oh, my God. And you're I didn't going get to it. Well, you're tucking you your fucking Eagles jersey. That, that tucking it in was the proper yeah. thing yeah. to do. Like a fucking gentleman, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, you're going to a Christmas here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. If you're gonna walk into a Home Depot with no mask on, you better have your fucking jersey tucked in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come fucking correct. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Right? Fucking A, dude. Yes, that's great. Okay. So then you go, you have these conversations. They think that you're this like kind of liberal pussy because they exist in this Facebook world where if you're not a hundred percent on board with Trump, then you are a communist. Yeah, well, it's also, it's like they, but, a lot. But also, this is your family. They you know, know that who the fuck you are. Trump supporter yeah. girl who's on Twitter and just like, you fucking pussy ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, you're DM'd related me. to them. <laughs> well, we're not that crazy, but did, like, it wouldn't be nuts. Her. Like, That's one crazy. of my cousins would have married her, kind of. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. She wouldn't be bloodline, but yeah, like, yeah. she would marry into the family. Yeah. Um, Pretty sexy, though. What did she say in your DM? She DM'd him. Yeah, oh, she really? Like, listens to the pod. She's like, yeah, my friends are telling me that, uh, that uh, you guys were talking about me on the pod. I'd love to come on the pod and talk about it. Brilliant. Uh, no, no, flagrant. Oh, shit. Damn. Damn. You're going to have her? Tina. Uh, let's see how the election pans out. Maybe we'll do like the, uh, maybe if Trump concedes, we'll do like the first interview with her. Afterwards. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, Biden 2020, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but go on. Um, yeah, so it's just like, but it's also very, and I think, you know, this is my two cents. It's very the. Uh, Let me clarify the question I, I, sure. that I'm, I'm curious about here. Is <clears throat> you you were not a stranger on Facebook to your mother. No. Your mother knows who you are, mm -hmm. knows the type of person you are, type of human you are. And I'm wondering if she can detach your disagreement politically from how she feels about you as a human being. Or is she so wrapped up in the politics that that is clouding her judgment of even her own son? No, not at all. Not Will at she all, not run at all. you over in her Camaro? <laughs> <laughs> it depends what protest I'm at. <laughs> uh, no, not at all. She's not like that. Except like sometimes when we do... We will engage, and yeah. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I got nothing to do this afternoon. Like, yeah, yeah, let's yeah. fucking roll up the sleeves and get into it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> you know, it'll be like, you know, the pro wall or whatever. And like, I'm coming at from like, I'm like, I think that's not a good idea for humanity. Or like, you know, like, and she's like, oh, you fucking liberal. And I'm like, you raised me yeah, to be yeah. a nice person. Like, <laughs> sorry, I don't want kids in cages. <laughs> you bestowed that upon me as yeah. a child. Like, yeah. you know, and so it's like that stuff. And then like, it eventually goes, all right, well, let's just move on. Like, why do we you never think, solve anything. Yeah, why do you think that uh, specifically with Trump, it's become so political? Like, I, I didn't remember it to be this, this charged bad. up in the yeah. past. Did you? Like, was your mom this charged up about Bob Dole? No, 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 no. No, well, it's all, I mean, you know, it's probably a lot of things going into it. With social media, it's everybody's now thinks they have an opinion and a brand or whatever. Like, mm. this is what I post. This is what I share. Like, everybody thinks they're a fucking corporation at the so end of the day. So they're getting more feedback on their opinions than they ever had in the past. And but then it becomes, an, Facebook them. makes it an echo chamber or right. whatever. You know what I mean? Like, right, right. so it's like, I'm only going to share this fucking wacko post that I know is going to get a bunch of likes from these wackos that But where did that come me. from? I think people just got pushed, you know, they're... they're they got pushed to the back of the wall a little bit. And I think that the left, you know, forces it down their throat so much that people like that were like in the middle. They see that and they're like, oh, yeah. well, fuck this. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was just a really yeah. bad, perfect storm of everybody not shutting the fuck up. And then Trump was the one guy that was like, you matter to me. And then, yeah, then he, he cultivated that mm -hmm. very in ingeniously. Yeah. Yeah. You know? He took advantage of, of a culture war that he probably assisted sure sure creating yeah. yeah but i do think too like i don't know i'm looking at it from my perspective as i'm a 34 year old fucking guy and it's like you do t it is proven that like as you get older you tend to be more conservative mm. right like that's that's how yes. it trends right yes. there was a i don't know who said it i heard the the saying it's like until you like hit an amount of money where you'll always be okay and then you become this like charitable liberal, like, you know, like Bill. Sure. Like Bill Gates was like the most conservative. He was a piece of shit his yeah, entire yeah, yeah. life. And the second he became the richest man, he was like, I should probably give away a lot. There's of a whole money. movie yeah. about how he fucked Steve Jobs, and now he's giving away everything. Yeah, he's his sweetheart. Yeah. So there is like a, a you know, what is it? Comes full circle. Or yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. But keep, but keep going. Um. I forget where I was. Oh, you were talking about as you get older, you become more conservative. Yeah. So there's this saying of like, of if you if you show me. A liberal over 
He has no. If you're, if you show me a liberal over thirty, I'll show you an idiot. Or no, no if you show if me, you're, if you're under thirty <laughs> and you're liberal, you don't have a heart. And if you're if over you're, thirty and you're a liberal, you don't have a brain. Money. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. But a brain, yeah. Um, but it's also too. It's I'm like, over thirty. Have no money. I'm a liberal. I know, but like now we're like we're talking about like like you know my fa- my parents are talking about money and like wills and shit, and yeah. now like I'm looking at money and I'm like, ah, pretty conservative guy. Now you know what I mean? Like tax. it's not so fucking bad. Why is the government gonna get money off of them? Dying? Yeah, I'm like, hey, pay tax already. I gotta pay tax on yeah, it. Yeah, fucking Isn't that bullshit. Crazy? Well, shout out to Trump. He umped it. He upped it. By the way, he upped what? The he death umped tax? the death tax. Well, he upped the allowed for like. Up to like eleven million dollars or something. You don't have to pay tax. You don't have to pay. It is quite absurd, though. You why should fall. you? <laughs> I'm just doing some research. But no, for real. Why? Why? Can someone explain the death tax? Like, why do you have to pay money for your folks dying? Because it's viewed as income. That's the way they view it. They view it as it's an income to you. It's not your money. So no money can change hands up to fifteen thousand dollars a year, every year to person. That is interesting. So you can you could gift me fifteen thousand dollars a year if mm-hmm. you want to. It's up to you completely. I'm not. I thought know. it was ten. It's gone up. It's gone up. It's fifteen thousand dollars now a year. Okay. You can gift anybody. Do you know why I know that it's ten? Why? Is this garbage? Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Sopranos. And she was trying to hide the money from Tony that she took out of the bird food. <laughs> Another food thing. <laughs> <laughs> Why are the birds getting fed? What up now? He was looking at that bird feeder like, God damn, if I get my hands on that bird feeder, that'd be I a good bring fucking thing. You're going off political. It's out of my realm. If you guys want to talk about toasters, you know what's a food question I was wondering? What? Is, and also, I'm curious because Alex is, I'm the only minority in the room, and Alex is not talking or on a Yo, mic. And Jordan's not, not here, bro. Jordan, I don't know. I didn't want to assume. I assume half white, but half black. But I don't know. <laughs> All, All black. black. All right, good for yeah. you. <laughs> she doing racist. it right there. She winning. All right. <laughs> cold pizza. Eating cold pizza, garbage or no? It is, but it's awesome. Yeah, it's, you know, it's the exception to the, it's one of the exceptions of the rule where it's like, <gasps> you should be a gentleman and take the time to fucking heat it up. I mean, what's a couple of minutes, you know? But. But you can't heat it up in the mic. You have to go oven. You go oven, oven, toaster, oven. whatever and you got. And when you do have that time and do toaster? it. Toaster? A toaster oven. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not just are fucking you? dipping the fucking yeah. space. Or put the, the toaster, toaster on the side. Yeah. Dude, oh. I just saw that put for the, the first time. Yeah, dude. Holy shit. Paulie's going to Paulie's going to have three toasters going at home. For research purposes. Yeah, for yeah, research. Yeah. Let me tell you something I know about Kippy. Twelve he only has going. a toaster oven. If you tried to propose the idea of a toaster oven and a toaster, he's going to be like, why would I? Yeah, Why for sure. I, we were a toaster oven family. Yeah, I never 100%. had a toaster. My stepmom tried to bring a toaster into my dad's house, and we were like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Get this fucking commie <laughs> bullshit out of here. <laughs> I need a fucking proper toaster oven. <laughs> yeah. Wait, well, how did she try to present it? She just said we came down one day, and it was just like a toaster in the fucking thing. And we yeah. were like, not like, no. She's like, you're not going to use the toaster? We're like, fuck, no, we're not using that. Like, we're, this is a toaster oven fucking household, toots. You know what I mean? Toots. <laughs> toots. <laughs> she didn't last that long. <laughs> they broke up. He, uh, they, yeah, they got divorced. Yeah. I mean, she moved in, and the toaster oven nah, was, she was the toaster she, beginning she, of the end. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, she was there for most of the time. Uh, you know, a chunk of my childhood. 15 and then years. And what happened? Why'd they break up? I don't know. Too I don't talk to my dad either. You don't toaster, talk to your dad? Now nah, we're trash. Wait, why? Money. He got a rich he, stepdad. What he he brought the wrong coffee maker home one time. <laughs> <laughs> Can't ever spoke to him again. He tried We're to bring French press family. Dude, he tried to cure him. I said, "Yo, buddy, I'll talk to you never." You're not. You're Why not don't my you son talk to anymore. Your dad? Money. What do you mean? Like he owes you money? Or? No, the family business shit. Beef. Can you talk over. about it or no? You heard him finagling about the death tax. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what's going on over there? We got a couple of things working, all right, Schultz? Are you trying to fucking pin me down? <laughs> Talk oh, to me. He could have no. died in a yacht explosion 12 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> he sees his dad, he calls him Larry. Who knows what fucking... We're going to keep an eye on these guys. <laughs> Just nod your head like Michael Caine at the end of yeah. Batman. I'm so I'm so funny. I'm so used to talking to him who can't follow anything or ask follow up questions. Yeah. And Schultz is finally starting to pin me down. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm so curious. So what happened? Uh, but there was a family business with uh, my dad, my brother, and myself. And then I. What type of business? Uh, mechanical contracting. Okay. I knew it was construction of some kind. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, you know. I kind of I left to go do comedy. It was my brother and my dad, and things soured mm. drastically. Mm. Over. Were you like the referee between them usually? The, the, the la- I was like the final of like, hey, this is you know whatever. The, um, I was made the final call, and mm-hmm. then he was just like, my dad was like, yeah, whatever. I was like, all right, see ya. So then him and your brother just couldn't. They work haven't out. talked at all. And you side with your bro on this one? Yeah, I got it. I mean, you right. know, the way I look at it was like if he could, you know. 
if if he could screw him over, like oh, I'm wow. him. So wait, your dad screwed your bro over potentially. Potentially, we don't yeah, know. in a fictional world that we're living in on this podcast. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then you. <laughs> <laughs> this is on Patreon, right? What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we want it. Shout out <laughs> patreoncom slash you garbage. Yeah. So okay, so then you guys you side with your bro, obviously that makes perfect sense. And your dad's relationship with your brother sours. That soured first. Right. And then I was like, hey, I was, I was already outside of, you know, I was outside looking in like, hey, guys, whatever, you know, let's try to. And it just, it was, in, um, you know, not, not salvageable. I think it's. it's no, uh, reconcilable differences, we yes, should say. But here, yeah. And I think it's like, it's hard for. Reconcilable differences are funny. Yeah, the ones that you can. <laughs> yeah. Tell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, but it's, it's tricky. Like, yeah, I you think want it though. With parents, right, where it's like, um, we can't fathom that we're not the most important thing to them. And it's like really hard for a lot of people to accept yeah. when when we're not. And I think that usually breaks a relationship because we go, well, if I'm not the most important thing to you, then you don't love me. Sure. Because that's like- It's all or nothing kind of. It's all or nothing, yeah, yeah. right? But like, um, I don't know. Like I've, I've spoken to folks. I keep their names private, obviously. but uh, And they basically told me that I would rather have some relationship with my dad than- zero relationship That's with my dad but very mature it, it this is so mature like getting there to that point and i was like baffled was like how, how can you even accept that you, you're, you're not the most important thing to yeah to me it's like you're not an, garbage when you're yeah. garbage it's fucking, yeah we're we're trapped yeah. like yeah. a thing for me is like if you, you argue me. if you argue with a family member like my 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 girl will argue with her parents yeah. or like whatever her brother they get like you know just whatever yeah and i'm like oh to me a reality because my family's all so fucked up and every, yeah. you know, it's like, there is a possibility that you're never going to speak to that person again. Like, yeah, every yeah. time you argue. Yeah, but I can be like this. They don't push it as oh, far this is great. as we this do. Is great. So I go like, I'm like, yeah, there's been times where I'm like arguing with my brother or my sister or my mom or who fucking, you know, Anne or I'm like, yeah. oh, this could end in like to the point where like Christmas is going to be weird for five yeah. years or whatever. I think you and I have really? talked about, Kimmy and I weirdly related on a lot of stuff even yeah, before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Both, we didn't know there was a such thing as healthy fighting. No, yeah. that blew my fucking nah. mind. That you just fight and it's fine. Like, you say something to try to hurt them. I'm as just much learning as to understand <laughs> that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just learning to understand that a fight. I, in my mind, this is always everything is on the line. Yes. Every fight. Yeah. You left the fucking food out. Okay, here we go. Here's yeah. a fucking twelve rounds. Something's yeah. gonna be said that's yeah. not gonna be able to be taken back. That's a fucking. And that's, eye what, that's where thing. the garbage comes in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like that's it's, why it's possible for just to be like that person is completely wiped out of my life forever. That's why my wife's like, that's insane. I'm like, well, that's reality and that happens a lot i mean like yeah there's you know like an aunt or something well, like i mean that, like my dad be. i haven't talked to my dad and like right. i haven't had a relationship with my dad in seven i don't know seven, seven years. years and i think that's why we work so well together because normally like i said like if i'm arguing i go to say the worst thing ever right and but with him i know I, that there's a little bit of a governor on it you know what i mean like he's he can keep me in check because like if this guy fucking doesn't talk to his dad, he's not gonna have any problem. Yeah, I say no, it to him. I say, <laughs> bro, I got no problem icing you, dude. <laughs> I'm like, I vice, like, I'm like, dude, I can delete your number and close I'm the door to the studio. Each other at a convenience store. I saw, I, I saw him in a Wawa parking lot a couple of months ago. That's no garbage. way. Yeah, that's garbage. <laughs> fucking way. iced him. Your dad? Can you fucking imagine? Ice in the veins, daddy. Oh, right by him. Not really? even walking yeah. by, by him. Cold. Touch shoulders. As you guys <laughs> no, he was like coming out of the car, and I was walking. Like I was parked over here, he was here, and I came out of the store this way. So like. Did he see you? Oh, yeah. And was there any acknowledgement? I mean, it probably broke his heart, man. Didn't stop and say anything. Yeah. Yeah, because he's a fucking proud guy. And it so am I. You know, with it two like fucking that. Irish fucking potato That's heads. That's all it you is, know? man. So yeah. are you guys going to just figure it out in heaven? He ain't, I don't know. If either one of those, maybe <laughs> hell. I don't know if we're both making it to heaven. <laughs> Yo, can I just say... I saw my dad in a Wawa parking lot. Garbage. That yeah. sentence. How about this? Garbage. I ignored my dad in a Wawa that's, parking lot. That's Even pure more. garbage. That's a different level. Yeah. He had a full this, loaf of bread. That's no, real trash. Your parents are separated, but do does she try to kind of like reignite that relationship with your pops? Or, my mom? Yeah. Oh, no. Between you and your pops, does she recognize? Or she's like, no, you made the right decision. Yeah. No, she was out on him in the fucking 80s. Immediately. She was like, yeah, I don't this, you know. Interesting. Okay, so they were maybe back that's... in the future, and she was like, I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> Yeah. It's over. Yeah. We're talking real psychos. Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's the crazy thing, man. It's like, and I don't know anything about your family, but it's so weird that like when people have kids, I don't know if you, if you like feel this way, but like when I see someone who has a kid, I immediately respect them more because I'm like, oh, you have real responsibility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like there's a life in your hands. Yo, dude. And that's the thing about these Zoom calls. Like even when we were working on the, on the special, right? Mm -hmm. We would have these Zoom calls and there'd be people like busting their ass on this fucking show. And then you'd hear their kids in the background. And after that, like, 
I'll be honest. If somebody's like fucking up a little bit, I can be hard on people. Yeah. Right. Because I have really high expectations. I give the most praise. I'd, I'd say they're the most amazing people in the world. But if I feel like you're being lazy or you're just not putting the effort in, like I'll I'll you I'll lay in. It. I'll fucking lay in, and it, it can get crazy. It can get a little crazy. But when I hear they have kids and shit like that, immediately I'm like. Hey man, you got shit to do. If there's people who have no fucking kids crying in the background and they're not getting a job done, then obviously you're just fucking up. But there's something about that where like, oh, you're like a fully formed adult, and then you realize as we become adults and start seeing our parents as actual human beings, we're like, oh, anybody could have kids. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Anybody. Yeah. It's there's not, no, there's barrier to entry is minimal. Zero, you yeah. need a license to get uh, like be a barber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, to, yeah. Do it, <laughs> to do it right is is very difficult. Incredibly difficult. I look back on my parents and I'm like, I I, I don't know how my dad didn't walk the fuck out. From your mom, just in the situation. What was the situation? Me and my, just I'm saying, me, a couple of eight seventy sitting on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> I would have fucking hit the oh, bricks. Eating Daniel. all the English muffins again. <laughs> no, no just any any, yeah, any yeah. general family yeah. where you have you know a mom and a dad who are, you know a working class family mm-hmm. who are working. Lower, then you lower. have then you have, yeah exactly. <laughs> then you have two kids pre pre. Then you have two kids you know that might be close in age together, like two yeah. brothers that are fucking. You know, type A kind of guys. Yeah. You know that that are playing sports, fighting with each other, yeah. of, all that energy, shit, yeah. anything like that. It's like I don't know how they fucking do it. Yeah, but we, we ruined so many dinners, vacations, fucking just doing what, fighting guns. with each other. Or? Anything, yeah. You got yeah. you have a brother. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's just it's, it's just like I don't know how they fucking do, do you, it. Do you guys have pets at all? Not yeah, now. <laughs> but you have you had one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What? I don't know. It just seems like a funny question. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, it's weird. Like, I, for the first time in my life, I had, like, a dog that I'm actually kind of, like, raising a bit. You didn't have a dog growing up? I did, but I didn't raise it. My mom did everything. <laughs> it was just there. You know what I mean? Okay. And I, but, like, this one, I'm actually, like, putting, like, effort into it a little bit. Gotcha. My girl does most of the shit, but a little bit. And, like, when I see her, like, start to do things that, like, I feel like I've kind of helped her learn. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's like this crazy connection because every time you're looking at it, you're like, oh, fuck, like I made you. Yeah, there so you I go. I wonder if there's like part of that that like you put up with all the fuck shit that your kids are doing. Oh, sure. They're, you know, they're probably yeah, yeah. Is that times however many. Yes. Yeah. A million. I don't know. I just, it's so weird as we get older, man. Like, so I saw this in a fucking Bollywood movie, but it made a lot of sense. It was like when you stop looking at your parents as superheroes like you do as a kid, and you're like, oh, these are just that's human, a human beings that's, yeah. trying to figure it out just like me. <sighs> yeah. It's a different, it's like, oh, that's a much healthier perspective to have. That's sure. why, like, I don't, <clears throat> my relationship with my dad, like, I don't sweat it at this point. I'm mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. like, now that I'm 34, I've had some perspective, love, yeah. loss, fucking yeah. all of this stuff. And yeah. you're like, I'm like, yeah, man, like, he did a great job of raising. He doesn't need to raise me into my fucking 30s. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, he has no real responsibility to me. And he was there. He was a fucking great dad all growing up. Yeah. Fucking money, fucking paying for things. All, uh, you know, he was there. I, I lived with him half the half the time. It was perfect. But, yeah. like, at the same time, like, dude, yeah, dude, you did fucking 30 years. You want a fucking blackjack dealer and I'm out? Yeah, whatever. I don't care, you know? A couple yeah. of fuzzles on a birthday wouldn't kill you, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> at least filled up my fucking gas tank at Wawa or something. A couple of scratchers when, when the year comes <laughs> around. A couple of scratchers. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, um, yeah, I had my, my whole life, I, I had like a kind of like weird relationship with my mom, I guess. I mean, she was very like supportive in everything I ever wanted to do. And she busted her fucking ass, built this business and like provided for yeah. us. And she was amazing, really inspiring in a lot of ways. But it wasn't like uh, the most like a loving, affectionate relationship. I got that from my dad, you know, and uh, I never understood where our friction came from. Because in my mind, I was like, I'm not really doing drugs. I do pretty well in school. I'm getting to college. Like. You got, the, I have friends. Like, yeah, you hit the fucking lottery, you lady. The, I literally yeah. thought you the fuck hit else the lottery. You need me to do? Yeah. I swear to God, yeah, that's yeah. how I felt about my mom. I was like, <laughs> you, I'm doing everything a kid's supposed to do. I'm not really getting in trouble. Like, I could be such a pain in the ass, you yeah. know? And um, I, I literally could be a, like. It's funny that you don't think you're a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I was thinking, I kind of, you were probably a fucking jerk off. I'm busting balls and shit, but like, you're not worried at night, like, am I going to come home? Yeah. Sure. You know? You're like, well, fucking Justin's doing fucking dope around the yeah. corner. Like, okay. yeah, yeah, I yeah, do exactly. the same thing in my Relatively mom now. Relatively speaking, I'm a great kid. I'm yes. a great kid. I'm yeah. a great kid. What a kid. fucking egomaniac I was even as a kid. I'm like, I'm the best teenager. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you get. What's this broad complaining about over here? So, and then when I got older, I. I never considered this. I, that my mom, as a human being, needs attention and fucking love. Yeah. And like me, just like at dinner, wanted to tell stories or make my dad laugh or like me just thinking that oh, I'm the kid. So it's a one way to, street. Uh, You're totally, going. Everything comes this way. And yeah, I yeah. thought that that was okay. Yeah, yeah. And and I and I as I got older, I finally realized oh shit, my mom was a dance 
you know, ballroom dancer. She like she's a fucking tell. entertainer. Yeah. Like she needs spotlight Not too. Just, she was a beast. Yeah, she like, was like she yeah. was the best. So, so she got all the attention. She got all the fucking attention. And like I, as an adult, I started to realize that, and it's completely changed our fucking relationship. Yeah, it was like that's fantastic. And that's that, funny. But isn't that crazy? She's a world class dancer, and she's playing second fiddle to a chocolate milk story. Yeah. <laughs> He's sitting there doing act outs and shit at dinner. She's like, what the fuck? We get it. Jerry put the straws in his lips like this, like a walrus. He's performing for six people in the Village Lantern. Why am I here? I'm a three-time U.S. model dance champion. Yeah. But for real, and I never understood And now that I understand it, I mean, like, there's one way to feel, like, bad about it, I guess, per se. But I didn't. But maybe now the, the best way to, to handle it is, like, try to give her as much of that kind of love and attention that she needs so that we can have a decent relationship. And, that, and that's, I guess, what I... You know, try to try that's to do. It. Yeah, cool. yeah, that's my, great. Uh, it's a great, great realization. Yeah, my dad was horrible to my mom. He was good to me for the most part. Horrible to my brother. Struggled with all kinds of shit. And then I always looked at him like, "Fuck this guy, whatever." And then one time I thought about his life and what it was. And mm-hmm. in India, he was from a family that was like entering politics, and he was seen as the guy that was gonna like. Apparently, his uncle was like in the essentially the president's cabinet. Like that's how high he was. Gotcha. And his that uncle looked at my dad like you're the guy Being to take my place. To, yeah. And then my dad one day is at another family member's wedding, going to a wedding, and then some of his cousins come and say, "Hey, you're getting married today." That's the day he married my mom. Damn. Left that wedding, getting fitted for clothes. Not only are you getting married today, now you're moving to America. So he went from India, and I remember my dad would always try to be funny at like the doctor's office or whatever, and it would be so unfunny. <laughs> And I was just like, "How are? Why are you doing this?" And then one of my cousins from India was like, "Your dad is hilarious." I was like, "What are you fucking talking about?" He goes, "No, no, no, you don't get it because he's doing jokes in English. In Hindi, he ha- he's so good at the language, he's fucking hysterical." And then I thought about me and how good I am at English, and that's what makes me funny. And if you drop me off in a foreign country, and in India where he's this high class fucking guy, and then he comes to Texas, and people are like, "You're a piece of shit. You're not high yeah. class. You're fucking nothing. You can't even speak the language." Yeah. That yeah. ego blow, just dev. As a man, you get it when you're older. The ego and what it means. I'm like, okay, a lot of shit you did is not okay, but I understand how you walk down this shitty path, and I can make make peace. If with you're it. eloquent yeah. and articulate, and that is your superpower and skill, and you get placed in a place where. You can't speak the language. Yeah, oh. that's neutering, dude. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's your fucking. Balls I would, I would give up. Like, yeah. I, like, like knowing now how like hard Superman it would be to overcome now. I'd be like, kryptonite. I can't yeah. do that. It'd be like yeah. to start comedy over. I'd be like, yep. I'm done, dude. I can't do that. That's way too. And how much, much of your self worth is that? Uh, all of it. So if that's taken away, your self worth is taken away. Mm-hmm. And then you're trying to raise a family. I don't have fuck uh, the skills I have. You're complaining in there's not enough Doctor Pepper. been so rich. You're like, I need more fucking Doctor Pepper, Dad. He's like, you don't even fucking know how good you got it. You got four bottles of fucking conditioner in there. You fucking weird kid. I keep buying it for you. Yeah, dog. That like when your self worth is gone as a man, and so much of your self worth is from this thing. And I know how to Damn. operate in India. And now I'm here. That just hit me. That's son. That shit hit me, and I was like, oh. And now our relationship is very different. Dude, there's a uh, a buddy of mine, wise dude, right? Uh, he said uh, he goes. He he just had kids, and he goes. He was like, kids make you uh, appreciate your parents in a way that, like, I never thought I'd understand. Mm-hmm. I go, what do you mean? He goes, like, you just understand everything that they have, have to go through for you. A day, even. A one fucking day. Crazy. And you're just like, how, crazy. what a piece of garbage I am for complaining about anything ever. Yeah. <laughs> and the problem with us is we start having kids at 40. We're old. None of us have kids yet. We're having kids. And then our parents are so old that we don't have all this time to appreciate them. When we were having kids at 25, Mm -hmm. 30, you had... A decade or two decades to be like, oh, I fucking... I get it now. This fucking great great time period with them, yeah. Isn't that crazy? And it is... uh, I mean, obviously, maybe, you know, times have changed and we should have kids a little bit older. My parents had kids much older. Like, obviously, for our careers, it's it's difficult. But it is one of those moments, like, I, I... do want to do it. My my folks are like old, old, but I definitely want to do it before they pass just so I could have those moments with them where like, even if I'm not saying it, I'm just looking at them in the eyes and they're seeing me struggle with this kid. Sure. And I'm just like, yo, thanks. So, yeah, dude, yeah, 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 I appreciate yeah. you. Yeah. Ah, man. I don't, dude, I remember my wife was sick last year. Your wife's from Germany? Yeah. And born and raised? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. All right. She's Czech. Her family's Czech, but. Ah, okay. Um, born and raised in Germany. Um, but she was, 
uh, she was sick. And I had to like get up to like make her a tea in the middle of something like, yeah, you know, yeah. something in the kitchen. It was like pitch black, 3.30 in the morning. I'm sitting there. I'm like, yo, I can. I was like, this is the worst. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, this yeah. is the abs. I'm like, yeah, I had to take yeah, yeah. six minutes out of my sleep. I'm like, yeah. this is the worst. I'm like, and I thought about my mom. I'm like, she had to do this for every, fuck yeah. every day. I can't even do six minutes for my wife. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to have sex with soon. You know what I mean? Like, my mom's just got to do it for this fat little kid. Like, fuck it. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah, it was I like get mad when I have to feed the cat. I get pissed off. Like, kids, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you feed yourself? <laughs> <laughs> he feeds you himself. eat what I eat. <laughs> <laughs> Which is every day. Every hour on Me the and hour. the cat's putting in the I have hero. never seen a fat person with an in-shape pet. No, yeah. I was just thinking that every time you see a fat guy yeah. walking a dog, it, the dog's always overweight. Because yeah. he's not moving. He's not playing fetch. He's right, not fucking... Together. Watch he's not wrestling. Yeah. 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 Oh, they're feeding him whatever. Dog. Yeah. They're not oh, yeah. buying the lean, healthy dog You would think food. it'd be the opposite. You think if you had a fat guy, it'd be a real skinny dog. Because they wouldn't share. Yeah, exactly. Because they'd eat yeah. the dog food themselves? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you going right out the can? Oh, man. It's so intense. Well, fellas, look, man, thank you guys so much for coming Buddy, on, man. thank you. Uh, once again, everybody, go check out Are You Garbage, man. Ooh. That's my new favorite up-and-coming podcast. I thank you. you want to hit man. some patron questions? Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, no, no, we're going to release this, I think, on the... Uh... There is one question, though, from Thajal Nag that I'm curious about. Okay, go. Are yeah. there garbage tears? Like you are this level of garbage and then a higher level of garbage. Absolutely. Not of Patreon course. tears. Of course. Tears of the garbage human being. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and it all depends on like, you know, so like on a, on a thing, we'll ask like 20 questions or so, give or take, yeah. you know, and like it's different all the time. And it's it's weighted certain ways too. Like we just had a kid on uh, uh, our, a comic from Philly, Sydney, where his mom uh, was like a bare knuckle fucking street fighter. Okay. Like Wait, his mom. His mom was an undefeated bare knuckle street box. So she would like come to the, like it'd be like a Saturday night, and there'd be like everybody would meet at the basketball courts, and she would go out, and like somebody would drive in from like thirty miles away, and like these chicks would just fight. So that's like top tier fucking yeah. wild trash. That episode's coming up too. Shout out to Sydney Gant. Yeah. The comic. It's, it's fucking wild. Wild. Crazy. So it's like there's levels of that where you're like, and like I've known this guy for fucking ten years, and I'm like. What the fuck? I love it. But like he, now he carries himself very. You would never guess that because that he he's comes from like a, up for it. Yeah. So it's like he's you see the different levels. Of, yep. Also, people just lean into it and like you know they're like, yeah, man, I fucking I eat, I drink Mountain Dew five times a day. I fucking one people like don't brush their teeth even in the shower anywhere. It's yeah. like there's different levels. And then at the end of the show, we're like, sometimes we'll give it a number. We'll be like, dude, you're seventy percent trash or fucking yeah. you're full blown fucking garbage. <clears throat> yeah. But there's no like set hierarchy. Yeah. Okay. Well, I love it, man. Thank you guys so much for Thank coming you, buddy. on, bro. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. You Thank you so much. Absolutely. Go Thank check you. it out. Yeah, I'm so stoked that you guys are rocking with it. And shouts to Toby, man. The set looks great. Yeah. Go Thank check you. out the YouTube. Thank you, buddy. All right, guys. We'll put a link in the uh, description below so you guys can go check it out. Guys, thank you all so much for listening. We love you. We appreciate you. Peace. Peace. God bless you.